last time on Metanoia Blues. The crew of the Ephemeral Chaos continues on their journey north, leaving the convocation and the ruckus they wrought on the Dire Shark flagship behind them, all the better to avoid being caught red-handed, too. The mood aboard the vessel is mixed. N ponders their meeting with a strange lizard folk warlock named Angel Eye, and the eldritch powers granted to them by the mysterious Beholder Eye that is their patron. Ferris Greenleaf, the helmsman assigned to the ragtag trio, apologized for his poor conduct in front of Willow's guests, still insisting on calling them captain. Luca also tried to make amends for his breach of trust, preparing a feast of shark steaks for the crew to celebrate the successful heist and expressing his contrition in private to Willow. Willow brushed off Luca's apology, not because they did not believe him, but because the way he said it pointed to a deeper issue that has created a distance between them. Willow bluntly said that they did not want to be handed the power to comfort or contend him, and left Luca with a question to consider instead. Two soldiers. One jokingly haggles for a discount from a craftsperson while armed. The other apologizes for his colleague with great remorse and pays in full. Who is the kind soldier? So, you are currently uh, north of Dreadhold, south of Turfbasanara, and about a hundred miles away from where the convocation was. Is this the next Thank day, you. or are we continuing the um, evening? Yeah. Uh, I think we're probably not going to continue the evening, but I would mm -hmm. like people to make perception checks for their watches. Okay. So. Whatever order you choose. Well, we last left off with Willow heading to bed, so yeah. either Luca or Anne can take first watch mm -hmm. or Varys. Mm -hmm. Maybe Willow, uh, Luke, fuck, Anne can start since we were talking, so maybe they started while we were talking. Oh no, they were, mm -hmm. they were hanging out with Varys. Yeah. Either or. Um, yeah. I was going to say, but I think Willow went to bed, bed, but like, I am happy to take the. <laughs> they pieced first... out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'm happy to take the first, like, late night one if Ann and Varys want to take the others. How about. Can I just propose a random order? Yes. Sure. Go, Go for it. Um, N first, Willow, Varys, Luca. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Cool. That's a six. Ooh. Oh cool. dear. What a great start. No, I will also say when Willow goes downstairs, I think the only thing that will come back upstairs is Fish Dog to help with um Watch. Yeah, there's a word I was looking for. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, well, nothing really happens. And it's probably still playing with the sword. So they're a bit Yeah. Distracted. Varys next. <laughs> Min, oh, yes. uh, Willow next. Yeah. Willow, then oh gosh, Varys, you're then. You're in Metanoia Blues. Wow. <laughs> Picture me over there just slapping Willow Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? A uh, perception check? Yes, please. Can Fish Doe give me advantage? Yes. You also have a spyglass, so that would give you advantage. Oh, yeah. Well, I feel like Fish Dog's better advantage at nighttime. But who knows? Ooh, whoa, wow. Ooh, nice. 20, damn three. three. Okay. Good. You know, I think while I'm out here too, might set up just mm -hmm. a few things. Mm -hmm. Like the rug activated. I'll tell the next person on watch the rug's active, by the way. <laughs> you know? Okay. It's just something we all have to kind of go around. My door always had an alarm on it too, but don't know how that's going. But yeah, and fish dog with the lantern no no the lantern can just be mounted outside yeah the door um just to yeah. see if anyone clears through it but yeah fish dog is also my fellow surveillance yeah. what light does it give 
the lantern. Yeah, it's like a. Um, it does burn stuff. oil, like it does burn fuel to stay alight. Yeah. Oh. So. Need to so be aware I imagine of that. we would have restocked because we want to keep that on. So we can work that out on, um, yes. later. One pint of oil. Okay. How long does it burn? We'll do that later. But, Six um, hours on a pint. Okay. Uh, At least in the dead of night, I'd like to have it up. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. My question was how mm. how far does it shine the in- anti-invisibility magic? I that's believe like, within its range of bright light, which I think is, is it 30 or 60 30 feet? foot radius. Yeah. Dim so light for an additional feet. 30 feet. A decent amount of the ship is like... Yes. Illuminated. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Good job, me. Shout out, Luca. Yeah, okay. Varys? Yeah. Cool. Watch the rug. Ew. Hey, matching. Matchy, matchy. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right, and Luca. That's I. <laughs> wow. Goodness. Mm. He's distracted. He's, he's thinking about. He's cooking. Yeah. Against the kind soldier. Who is the kind soldier? Is it me, Jesus? <laughs> oh, God. Cool. Let's roll for weather. Who wants to roll? Or should I? You. You can. Mm-hmm. You don't get to roll as much during these bulky episodes. He could be rolling behind the scenes all the time. We just don't know. That's yeah. true. It's the 17th? So, clear skies, strong winds. Clear skies, strong winds. Cool. Yeah. Hey, good for us. We can travel further? Hmm? Um, um, it means yeah. that, like, uh, it certainly means that you aren't slowed. Okay. I Got you. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, it's the 17th, yeah? Yes. Uh, yep. It is. Wow. So here's my question for your navigation check of the day. Are you heading um, more north or more south to head to Scarn? Captain? Um, The one thing is that if you head more north, you were coming closer to Port Verge. (laughs) Yeah, see, Port Verge is, for those who don't know, Cobacon's uh, area. <laughs> and for those who might not know, we got a fucked up Cobacon shit recently. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Truly. Um, like, I don't know if I'd go that particular wiggly wibbly, but like, I guess I would angle more horizontal, so not north. Okay. I mean, just to this g- is this is one of those things where like the hex grid. Oh, sort the of- hex. True, true, true. <laughs> Makes it I mean, a little. We're innocent. We're not Emerald Claw, yeah, so, so we can go wherever we want. But like, it does seem odd to not get to skin because then we just have to back pedal anyway. Um, are we desperate to get to skin? Scared is the next. It. Is scared is your we're next? Uh, yeah, scared is your next like opportunity to stock up on supplies before you have to round like the very harsh. Uh, North. Um, yeah. So or, it's probably a good idea to stop. Yeah, we're or, good on yeah, supplies. So, like, if you, yeah, if you didn't want to take the most direct route possible, we can yeah. like uh, yeah, at take present we can yeah take a little bit. You of You still have to move into one of these hexes, like flip a coin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, then we'll go slightly. Down. We'll wrap around this little island. We'll use it. We'll, guide, we'll, we'll wrap around Dreadhold. <laughs> <Okay>. Yay. <laughs> yeah, and then go up through here. It gives us a chance to look at these little places too. Look, sometimes sightseeing is the point of the journey. Or rather, anchoring yourself to a landmass so that you know where you're going. Yeah. 
Can I? I mean, I was trying to draw it out, but it's not what. Oh. You have to hit Q to make a hit point. Q. Oh, like something like that. Wait, oh, it went away. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> this is fun. It's me. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's also fun to me, but. <laughs> okay. That, that's needless. The thing I just did is very needless. <laughs> yeah. I didn't me. need to go that far down. Yeah, that's where. Well, whoever's just drawing that line, that's. That's me. Somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> fine. with me. That way. All right. Uh, then, so this is, is Port Verge here? Uh, no. Port Verge, Port Verge is here, isn't it? Incorrect it again. <laughs> Port Verge is right here. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah, it's up there. <laughs> then yeah, we'll do a little bit of a wide berth around it. Let's <laughs> yeah. Why not? I I really should mark like cities and stuff on this map, but that's that okay. We'll try and test our test our memory. Would this this angle work then? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, no, 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 no die shocks gonna come to scan. Scan. Sorry, I forgot what we're talking about. Oh, scan. <laughs> scan. <laughs> Down up, scan, mate. Okay. I'm gonna port this. In which case, uh, please mate. make a navigation check. Me? Might as well. Whoever's navigating. Oh, Varus has the proficiency. And he knows scan. Um. Yeah. Uh, in which case, he's about to. <laughs> uh, I don't have a button for navigators tools on Varus's character sheet. Uh, Come on, Mr. Greenleaf. God damn! Holy shit! That's right. He's a helmsman. <laughs> Yeah, God. he has. Uh, I've forgotten to use this before, but he has a feature that like lets him add a D four to certain checks. Oh, right hand to the king, kind of. He's not the king. No, it's a dragon mark thing. Oh, is that the? Is that the? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's not quite right, but it'll do. That's good enough. I'm trying to erase it now, but it's fine. I'm going to delete it, if that's all right. Cheers. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So. Uh, the other thing that uh, Varus needs to do is a little persuasion check on the elemental, unless N wants to do that with their... I mean, I'll give it a shot. Yeah. Uh, Persuasion? I hope that they are both standing there, though. I hope they're both doing it. 26. My gosh! (laughs) Yep. Easy peasy. You get your (laughs) full speed boost today. So you're able to travel. We're friends. We're buddies being this (laughs) this elemental. You're both just little guys. (laughs) It likes me. (laughs) And says as we like speed up, big (laughs) grin. (laughs) Not only likes you, you can also talk to it in a way that it understands. <laughs> yeah, that helps. <laughs> but I like to pretend. Have you? You've never rolled badly on talking to the elemental. No. Nope. I've rolled like n- average, like uh, Canadian yeah. average. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Median. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But not never bad. No. Uh, not that one. No. Australian average. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. Well, that's pretty average, mate. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. As you are sailing along today, hmm. Somebody roll me a d4. Luca. Uh, oh, yeah, I haven't rolled anything today, technically. I mean, you rolled your shit ass perception, but. Yeah. Four. Okay. Uh, Luca, you find out that in some way, like either through a spill or a tear or something like that, some small thing, uh, some food has spoiled. 
No! You just hear the despaired <laughs> wail come from the, wherever his food storage is. And flinching hard and hand going to the knife and then, no. Oh, that's just normal Luca despair. Yeah. I've heard that of the poppy mu- before. <laughs> how much do we lose? Um... Give me ooh, what would be a best way to like try and salvage food from spoiling. Uh, give me a survival check. Oh god, we could just eat it all at once. <laughs> yeah, no. honestly, I'll cook it. <laughs> Wait, can I not purify it with my magic? Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, post. Uh. Yeah. Post the spell. Do you have can that prepared? Spell? No, but could I not cast it as a ritual? No. Yes. No, you have to. Have, well, to but it. I'll say that like you can have it prepared since you're like on travel. It's got the little um, R next to it. Does that not mean I can cast it as a ritual? Like I could cast it while I'm cooking. You can cast it as a ritual, but you do have to have it prepared to be able to do that. Unlike wizards, oh. who can cast any ritual spell that they have. <laughs> so you don't think- need to spend a spell slot, but you do need to have it in your sort of right, roster. Right, 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 right. Oh, can I, are you going to let me swap out a spell? <laughs> yeah. Because I feel uh, every like... Every time I'm you cool. have a long rest, you can swap out spells. I, I won't, like... And while we're traveling, like, this is pretty loose. Yeah, and I feel like it makes sense for me to have that ready just in case. Because I'm yeah. the cooking boy. So, yes. mm-hmm. I will... It makes, like, yeah. I don't think we've, like, sat down and re-prepared spells since the convocation, so it's fine to, like, just say you have... You Your can travel prepare spells it. prepared, essentially. Just make sure that, mm-hmm. like, while while you... Today, you have it prepared, and you're not yeah, going to swap it out. Yeah, I swapped it out. out. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. I can um, unspoil some food. Yeah. I think that definitely... Purified and rendered free of poison and disease food poison yeah i'm just like <laughs> that doesn't like out? i would think like it doesn't unboil the food you know but it makes it so it doesn't hurt us would be my guess so it tastes i'm going funky. to say <laughs> i'm going to say you lose like Instead of anything worse, you only lose uh, two days worth of rations for your crew because you cost okay. pure five food and drink. So, like, there's some of it that's like it's it like got wet or something, and it's like mm. you know the one bad orange in the bag, yeah. and you need to wash everything else so that it like doesn't spread more yeah, spores. Yeah. So, yes, uh, remove. Uh, eight rations. So. <sighs> Distressing, but it could have been much worse if unnoticed. Yeah. Nice. I Good would job, also Luca. like everybody to make a perception check. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Oh, Not feeling it today. I mm. think Eddie's Any doing some other stuff right now. <laughs> And has is this a spyglass type? Percep- Sorry. Nope, this is no spyglass. I'm just saying, if N has free time, they're probably looking over some stuff. <laughs> so, Yikes. they're distracted. Five. So mm. three for N and an eight for Willow. And Am I Luca? My button? <laughs> yeah. Hey! I will be <laughs> 21 for Luca. Okay. Good to know. I'll do one for Varys as well. Oh, we match. Aww. Got a 17. Mm. Okay. And it's reading. <laughs> Their head is down. Okay. Cool. Um. Yeah, you will keep a watchful eye and nothing seems amiss today. Just a regular day of sailing. The elemental is putting in good work. And you make it to sort of like the uh, to the point where you can see the northern shore of Farwatch. <laughs> Wait, is that how far we got today? Yeah. Damn, we're good. Yeah, we're fast. We're making tracks. Wow. 
And the inner principalities are like quite closely connected. It's like mm. very easy to mm. get from like point A to B to C because mm. of the to C. <laughs> uh huh. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh, unless anybody has anything in specific that they want to cover today, it is an otherwise unreventful journey. Yeah, I think today. It- and is probably having a closer look at those contracts. That's probably why they rolled the three is yeah. because they have their head down and they're just trying to study the contracts we stole from Covercon mm-hmm. that Willow so graciously put in their care. Mm-hmm. Okay. Willow might just approach Varys randomly and ask, how are you staying in contact with Raiga, by the way? Uh, have Varys a very has... deep connection. Sorry. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I love you, but shut up. Did Lucas say that? <laughs> <laughs> no. Did, did... No. Okay. No, this is this is Zeke to Sara. <laughs> okay. Uh, Varys says, oh, I'll be writing him letters. No sending stones, then. No. Just checking. Seems honest. Cool and honest. Luca has a question for Willow. Oh boy. Does the elemental oh, have okay. treats? <laughs> Pardon? Like, can I give it a treat for a job well done? Uh. Seek. <laughs> Well, spell? as beings spell? of, yeah, it's like, it, it's a spell slot, basically, is the only thing you know it consumes. Magical power, basically, is the answer. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> if Lu- Luca can touch it, right? Yeah, I mean, you can all touch the, the Kyber shard. Yeah, Varys is the only one that doesn't have access to the room, which I might need to reconsider now that we're out at sea. Did you not put him Actually, in? Actually, that's probably something I should do, huh? Edit the arcane lock. Mm-hmm. You know what? Can I say that I'm doing that today while Luca's okay, asking me this sure. question? Sure. Roll me um, either a Tinker's Tools or Arcana check. Just to see the how Tinker's long it takes tools. you. Okay. Because arguably I should have to recast this spell, but Zeke said that I could edit it instead. It's like adding a yeah. rune. Yeah. Ooh. Go Tinker's Tools. Um, <clears throat> um, can Fishdog give me advantage? You. Yes, Fishdog can help you. <laughs> That's better. better. 21. Okay. 21. <laughs> so it'll Wait. only take you about an hour. Okay. Willie does that little slip of the screwdriver and then looks at Luke like, pardon? <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> I probably also brought Willow water while they're working. Fresh jug of water. Okay. Can I think Willow can, might? Can I give it a treat? Does it want water? Fresh water or salt water? You know what? Give it this. Willow's gonna hand the water back to you. Cow. Trying to figure it out. Willow's gonna get back to work. Do I just tip it on the floor? Well, you'd want to aim for the crystal. That's where it lives. Are they fucking with me? Can I check for a... <laughs> you can make an insight make check. Make a fucking with me, we check. <laughs> it, that's an insight check, yes. 20. 20. <laughs> I rolled a nat 20 persuasion. It takes you a moment to be like... Uh... But yeah, Willow is is joking. Okay. In a way. Willow is at least not being completely serious. I will say that my nat 20 means, though, that I, I, I definitely sold it. Yeah, yeah, you did sell it. And it took Luca a second to get the joke. <laughs> Luca's like halfway there before he realizes, wait. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> you could scratch under its chin, maybe. Can I do that to Willow? No. Since I said it. No, you can't. Can I flick them with a <laughs> little bit of water? Go figure out your riddle first. Yeah. 
Right. I'll He'll take the feet. water back from you now. Huh. <laughs> so no tree. You scratch it under your chin. Luca's like it doesn't have doesn't one. Have a chin. <laughs> <laughs> It's Willow will explain. <laughs> Willow will explain to you. It takes magical energy, but you should be conserving yours. Um. <laughs> okay. That's the end of that. Then. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Do you think any end gets anything specific from studying the contracts today, or is that something that'll come down the pike later? Uh, give me an investigation check. Okay. Oof. Oof. Gosh! <laughs> yeah, I think reading these contracts is um, stirring something and making it hard to focus today. Yeah, you feel like the the more you read over it, the more you're just like, ugh. It, you just don't have the sort of headspace for mean legalese today. Mm, yeah. Mean so. <laughs> I think, and like... <laughs> and Bastard legalese. Yeah, and stomach mm. kind of turns as they're going through these contracts for multiple reasons, and they're like, I'm seasick, their excuse. Uh, I'll do yeah. this later. Oh, God. Does the nat one give you repression? <sighs> That's a willow thing. Oh okay. Oh, and invented Kai. <laughs> and killed fail. <laughs> and knows how to repress. <laughs> Just looks he got different. better. <laughs> but Willow repressing on a nat one is more the thing. Not that N doesn't okay, repress. Fine. It's just like the specific, like, this is hurting me. I will repress it. Nat one response. <laughs> Okay, fine. I was just trying to point out the net one. <laughs> but yeah, it yeah. is. It's it's and it's, it's got other things on their mind. Yeah. Yes, it's it's no bad. And tries to study the contracts for like an hour and then has to give up. So they don't really get anything of use today, other than mm -hmm. a headache, a stomach yeah. ache, an ache. That's not yeah. of use. Oh boy, has to fold the fold the contracts up and like stuff them under their pillow. Like I'm not gonna look at these. I'm not gonna think about these. Never happened today. We'll come back to that later. I'm going for a walk paces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, they could literally go for a swim if they needed to, but... Uh, to keep up with the boat. <laughs> when you're... Just tie me anchor. back and drag me. <laughs> <laughs> I Can I make a fucking with me check? Like, are they serious? <laughs> <laughs> Luca catches and staring off into the horizon with, like, bags under their eyes and... <laughs> Fur on their brow. <laughs> they just drag me behind swim? the car, mafia style. <laughs> oh <my laughs> I need to reset. Are they serious? Oh god, they might be. <laughs> no, ends fine, and I'll just and I'll just pace. Do you want to race? And looks at Luca's long legs. Back at I'll Luca. give you a head start. Uh, uh, fine. <laughs> okay. Are you laps. just racing around the deck? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Two laps. Let's go. It's literally anything to get my mind off of what's going on in there right now. <laughs> okay. Cool. So starting point will be, let's say, the, the door to the cabin. Yeah. First one back inside. Okay, uh, you can dash a number of times equal to three plus your con modifier. This is why Luca's gonna win. Yeah. That's why I'm giving you a head start. <laughs> What's well, your con modifier? Of... One is my con modifier. Okay, so. So, um, yeah. what, would that be 120 feet? Is that how it works? I have, uh, it... I have 30 is my normal speed with dash, that'd be another 30 and... Yeah. And there would be one more. So that'd be. Yep. How much of a head start are you giving in? 90. I'd say like a turn's worth. 90 feet. Okay. How far is that? So, it would be 60 feet. Okay, so 60 feet. So. Yeah. Cool. In which case, N is able to run. Mm -hmm. 
this far <laughs> before Luca starts running. Oh my god. <laughs> Runs. I get 90, so... Why do you get 90? My con modifier is 2, so it'd oh, be... Oh, no, it's number of times consecutively that you can dash. Oh, okay, okay. Not not how many times you can dash in a turn. That, okay, that makes more sense. Um. So yeah, I'd catch up. <laughs> And then mm-hmm. overtake them. Yeah, that's about what I expected. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like you guys should make uh what's the check for like making sure you don't go overboard when yeah, you skid around a uh, corner going full pelt around a slippery boat. <laughs> the trick. Uh, acrobatics check. check. Acrobatics is balance. Varish is watching you guys go around. <laughs> Zoomies. Yeah. Should we roll rack- acrobatics then? Yeah, yeah. let's go. Maybe after you both go around. Okay, yeah, I'm over here. God, I <laughs> got up there where, fast. Where, where did, did N go? Uh, under Luca. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Stop over there. Me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. When you uh, overtake, I think you should roll acrobatics because, like, that's a narrow part of the boat for Luca to gallivant through. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how fate Elia lost me. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I was too juicy to get through the alley and keep up with her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Let's check our acros. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. That's a 16 <laughs> oh, and <man>. a 9. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> My acrobatics is not that bad, but... Your acrobatics is better than mine, <laughs> and you rolled worse. Yeah. Look, that's how it is sometimes. And is not used to, let's say... Running the, around on a boat. <laughs> specifically, yeah. the unevenness of the boat. <laughs> the unevenness yep. of the mind. All of it is really working against me <laughs> right now. The unevenness <laughs> of the mind is their debut album, honestly. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> you might end up getting that swim after all. <laughs> yeah. How does N9 go? Uh, I think N, like, trips a little bit, but not, just, like, stumbles. So they lose, mm. like, a moment of, of speed in the, the total race, but <laughs> Luca can also choose not to run maximum speed. Yeah, mm. that's what I'm going with. <laughs> okay. So Luca is just running right behind you. Yeah. Scarily, entire... probably. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if Luca rounded a corner sprinting at full pelt on a small boat, I think I'd jump into the water out of instinct. <laughs> <laughs> I've already oh, had Luca oh run at me That's a with, sea monster. <laughs> with intent. So, yeah. I'm adapting. Yeah. Mm. I think Willow's gonna pop up here to the sound of like scurrying footsteps around the deck and yeah. look at Varys and be like, have they lost it? He shrugs, maybe. Hmm. They've got some restless energy. Hmm. Can I use minor illusion to make an illusion oh on God. the ground in front of, like, as we're running, of, like, a hole in <laughs> the ground? <laughs> make well, a sleight of hand seriously. check. <laughs> yeah. Make a sleight of hand check, and I think Luca make a perception check. Like a hole in the, the planks. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I may fail. I am a dumb boy. <laughs> we'll find out. That is not a dumb no, boy. No. That's a 10 hey. versus a, an 18. He, he jumps yep. over the illusion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, honestly. Basically. <laughs> like, that just might be fake. Over it. Just to be safe. <laughs> Keeping you on your toes. And it's also like you see Anne casting the spell, so it's not. Yeah, a... yeah, yeah. You saw Anne snap. You can't get me with something like that. <laughs> well, good. Testing your okay. reflexes and like steps directly <laughs> on the hole <laughs> and nothing <laughs> happens. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's have you two make another acrobatics check for rounding the corners again. Oh, that's a new one. <laughs> oh, I think Luca does like overshoot and end up like kind of <laughs> Wait, he's, like, bumping over the edge. About noticing and stuff. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sing <Yes. somewhere. laughs> You just hear a splash. <laughs> Is he overboard? I don't think he necessarily, like, make a dexterity saving throw unless, Luca, you want to, like, go overboard. <laughs> I'm going to make a saving throw. That's oh a natural <laughs> three. <laughs> I think you do, yeah. like, you, like, <laughs> overshoot, end up, like, <laughs> kind of, like, dangling for a moment, and then you fall into the water. <laughs> oh, like, oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> That's for her. <laughs> <laughs> the anchor's right here. <laughs> Do I throw that to Luca? Uh, no, Luca, make a real quick perception check. <laughs> Is there a rope here? Me. Can I throw something? <laughs> Wait, who's making a perception? Luca. Me, of course. <laughs> What time of day do you think this is happening? That's oh another my five. God. Okay. 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 I'm okay. sorry, okay. Luca. Okay. Oh god, I'm gonna get eaten. Oh Again. no. <laughs> I'm so glad I was upstairs to see this. I don't even know if I saw it happen or just heard the splash <laughs> of Luca going overboard. This isn't what I what wanted. I just wanted him to slow down. Overboard? Instead, he sped up and went over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You can't deceive me! He falls into the ocean. <laughs> oh, I imagine God. it was like turning the corner like here. Oh wait, no, you can't see that. Like here. And then he kind of like tripped. Yeah, I can just imagine him looking oh. back at it and being like, cool, how you can't trick me that way, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. And just like skidding so, to a halt. All that happens. What time of day is it? Oh. Midday? Afternoon? Yeah. Yeah, midday, yeah. Midday to okay. one. Okay. Um. And we're going pretty fast, if I remember correctly. Yes. That's yes. our excellent <laughs> Relatively. Get a rope. Get a rope. <laughs> yeah, as you're scrambling for a rope, Luca, uh. Let me just quickly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. God. <laughs> He suggested okay. it. This isn't my fault. <laughs> Better me than them, honestly. I feel like I could, like, swim. So. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> yes! I'm sorry, don't say that! <laughs> you do not have your shield at the moment, so what is your AC without your shield? Uh, that's a minus two, right? Yes. That's 17. Okay, in which case, that second hit does <laughs> grab you. Uh, you see oh, Luca go boy. overboard, briefly bob, and then something snags him, and he gets pulled <laughs> underwater. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> and, what are you saying? Wait, whoa, Ferris! Man overboard, we got a problem! That's a... Cool. Oh, no. Let's roll initiative! <laughs> that, was the that was the surprise round. <laughs> Oh, okay. I can't come outside then. All right, initiative. Oh, cool. Do I, am I like at any disadvantage because I'm trapped? You are not at disadvantage for initiative, but you are underwater, and that does mean that. Like... Oh my gosh! <laughs> hey, bro, can you roll any lower? Just wondering. <laughs> hmm. Paris, please. <laughs> There. I can't get over N being like, do I throw in the anchor? N, can you even lift the anchor? <laughs> yeah, no. Varys! Okay, okay, oh, okay, wait, okay. That's, okay. Not that's, not that's, not that's the other thing. Okay. Ooh, it's so still ahead of me, though. <laughs> yeah. How? It's got a higher dex. Damn. I can't dude. believe I still go first. <laughs> Oh. I mean, it makes sense. You're out there, yeah. you're seeing it, you know? It does yeah, make course. sense, but since I, ro I rolled so low, I was like, surely someone else. No. Mm. We can <sighs> always go lower. Potentially. Yeah. <laughs> As Luca has so aptly demonstrated for us right now. Cool. Like, being yanked uh, under the water. Yeah. Okay. Luca, one, uh, several questions. Are you wearing your armor? Um... That is a good question. That would drop my armor class as well. Yes, so, it would. Uh, how much? I'm in half plate now, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. How much does that drop my armor class down? Is it three? 
it would drop you to your um to 10 plus your dexterity modifier i'm sure i have more than that because of some of my um no because if you're not wearing armor it's literally just your it's 10 plus your oh that's 11 then yeah Uh, do we think i'm wearing armor in the middle of the day maybe challenge into a race how dexterous is your armor uh it doesn't matter it only it doesn't it only gives me disadvantage on stealth checks because it's jingly um Uh, i can see luca applying his armor every morning i do yeah yeah i think i would mine's magic (laughs) okay in which case uh you have ac but of 17 yes oh swimming will be harder because of it Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah that's Mm -hmm. what i'm worried about oh boy but but there's also a beastie trying to hit you and we can't throw you a Mm -hmm. rope arguably so like pros and cons pros and cons Um. is there like breath holding mechanics yes there there are yeah so it's gonna be fun you can hold your breath for a number of minutes equal to one plus your constitution modifier a minimum of 30 seconds so i'm at three minutes Yes. Nice. That's pretty good. However, for, you yeah, have to make a constitution saving throw every time you get hit. Yes. Yes. To avoid Fetch. expelling air. Okay. If I fail to save, do I lose all of my air or like a portion of my air? You, you lose a portion. Okay. So, uh, real quick. Luca gets dragged underwater by the ship leech. I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna put it on the token layer. It is attached under the ship. Ooh! Oh! oh. It's got a beak. It's nice. Yeah. Um, so, like, it is technically under the ship. Luca is, let's say, here. We're still moving, yeah? So is Luca gonna move? Oh, wait, it's attached to the thing. Okay. Yes, right. so it has, it has like, grabbed Luca at this point. Yes. Uh, uh, it has dealt 14 slashing damage to Luca. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, yeah. As it's, like, uh, like, spiny tentacles lash out at you and, like, draw you in close. Uh, and then it is going to make one more attack with its beak. Oh boy. 13 oh, does not hit. <laughs> so. Scrapes against your armor? Yep. Yeah, likely. It's oh. it's trying Ooh. to like break you open like a clam. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh god. This isn't what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I'm just looking to unwind and free my mind from a lot of the stress that's been getting. Luca's getting eaten by a sea monster. Luca's getting eaten by a sea monster! <laughs> Well, I'm certainly not thinking about what I was thinking about. <laughs> it's certainly taking my mind yeah. off cool. of the contract. So that was the surprise round. Now it is Hi. top of the round. End's turn. Okay, so can I see this thing? Uh, you just <clears throat> saw something drag Luca underwater. Good. Right. Okay. But I, I can't... What's your first instinct? No. Uh... Yeah, Fireball. I mean, I'm looking for anything I can blast, honestly. Like, if I can see anything abnormal. Nope. Can see it's Luca. all underwater at this point. Uh, if you would like to make a perception check. Yeah, I think that's the first instinct, because I don't think N's going to just dive in. That seems unwise. Yeah, no. Uh, so. We're so frail. God damn it. Say The nine. You don't see anything. Okay. You are trying to look underwater. Luke, yeah. Uh, Luca has disappeared under the shadow of the ship. Uh, do I still get an action, or was the perception check my action? You'd say. Uh, you still get an action. All right. Well, I mean, I think I'm. If I can, as an action, get a rope and throw it, because I want Luca to get something he can grab onto. First and mm-hmm. foremost, I think I don't want to blast yeah. recklessly because I don't want to hit Luca if I can't see where yeah. he is or what got him. But I want to give him yeah. a, like a way to fight <laughs> the thing that's mm-hmm. got him and the ocean. So I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna toss him a rope. Okay, you and toss sh- a rope and life perverse. 
preserver. Yes, while shouting to the crew, <laughs> as I did. Yep, okay, mm. cool. That's your action, then. <laughs> yep. Willow. Hi. Gonna emerge quickly beside N to look out. What's... Do I see... What do we see? Make a perception check. Twelve. Uh, you see sort of like a little bit of foam where Luca just went under, uh, and like disturbance a little bit, but like it's hard to make out from the regular waves. So I can't see Luca. No, he has gone underwater. Okay, that's that kind of puts a damper on things, but. Hmm. And we're still moving, yeah? Yes. Okay. Can, do I have any... I, I might ask... Talking's a free action, yeah? Yeah. You see what took him? No, something just dragged him under. Okay, um... That's that could be anything. I feel like I'm trying to narrow down in Willow's mind like what they think that is. Is there anything I can do with that, or would that take my whole turn? Uh, I don't think you have enough information to make any deductions about that. Okay. Is fish have... dog waterproof. Uh, could fish dog make its own perception check? Yeah. If it goes underwater, it is technically made to be waterproof. Yes. I don't know if it doesn't have a swim to speed, but it it can go in the water. I just it's need to be able to see Luca. If if fish dog can go plunge under and get an underwater look and see if it can air quote see Luca. Okay. Yeah. Uh, make a perception I just need to be able to spot dog. him. Yeah. Or at least you know what? If I tell fish dog to find Luca, then it will go towards him, right? Yes. I just need to be able to make out his shape. Um, okay. So fish dog perception check time? How, what is fish dog's speed? Oh, true. It was over here. Technically, I had it downstairs, but let's say it followed me up. <laughs> yeah. Um, fish dog, come on. So let's say it was, like, next to you, so. Fish dog, come on, It's got a speed of 20 feet. F huh? Fly. Fly 20 30 feet. feet. Yeah, okay, so. Let's say. 20 feet? What? What's that? Yeah. <laughs> Fish dog can, can walk. Oh, that's when it has its little leggies down. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty. Well, yeah, it's so, going to try and find Luca. So let's say check? fish dog is uh, oh. down here, plunged into the water. Make a perception mm -hmm. check. With fish dog. Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> matchy, matchy. Well, well here's same. the difference. It's much easier to see underwater. Uh, yeah. So, fish dog has spotted Luca underwater grappling with a ship leech. So I know it's a ship leech. You dog? don't know that. Fish dog okay. knows that it's down there. <laughs> um, you do you not have a psychic con <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Fish, you do not have a psychic connection to fish dog. It could give you information, yes. but it does have to communicate you with you directly. And I'm assuming it did not like pop back up no it's still down there okay however so. does that count as my whole turn the perception and the fish dog perception because fish uh, dog's a bonus yeah yeah fish dog acts on its own like it takes its turn immediately after you mm. but you do take a bonus action to command it so movement or whatever what would you like to do my main thing is, if I can use it now, if Fish Dog can highlight Luca for me, I can use Vortex warp, warp on him. But until I can see Luca, I can't do that. Yeah. So uh, that's your turn. I didn't do anything. Um, let me just. You sent Fish Dog in. That's your okay. bonus action, right? Hmm. I mean, oh wait, how does this work again? Let me just check one more thing. I have to be able to see it again. If I see the creature, I can magic missile. If I can see Luca, I can vortex warp. But I can see neither right now. Yeah. 
there is a rope and it is unwise for me to hop in after him. Even if yeah. that would make seeing easier. That would be a last resort next round. Yeah. It's literally and only Fishdog. been like seconds since Luca went out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And Fishdog cool. can take reactions. Okay, cool. We've observed the scenario at least. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Varus is going to take his action to disengage the elemental engine from moving. So, mm. like, basically kill the speed by half. Yeah. Uh, in case Luca. So, you're no longer moving as fast. Yeah, so Luca's not drowning quickly. <laughs> yeah. uh, thanks. Cool. <laughs> uh, and then Varus will head out to basically start. Uh, like trimming the sails. Yep. So that's what he's doing. Cool. To try and slow your momentum as much as possible. Yep. Cool. Ship leech turn. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, uh, another two attempts at striking Luca with its tentacles. Well, maybe if you bleed enough, we'll be able to oh, see you God. soon. Oh, so that's a 26. Shit. That's a oh, hit. Shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think on this one, you do need to make a constitution saving throw. Yeah, and a lot more than that. Gosh. <laughs> I can't believe this is how we TPK. Okay, okay now 20. <laughs> 20. Okay, cool. So, oh like, God. even as it's, like, cutting into you with its tentacles and, like, basically, like, you are wrapped in, like, four tentacles with, like, sharp, like, almost, like, sort of serrated Eyes. barbs that are, like, trying to pull you closer and closer to its beak. Uh... You uh, manage to hold your breath. You will not die from this. This is considerably Ooh. more unsexy than I expected it to be. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's pretty nasty. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it gets to I make another... Oh, oh, my God. God. oh my God. No. Luca's dead. Luca is... Luca might hit zero. Yeah. Yeah. It's Real fast. 20... Oh my Ooh, god! Yeah. Holy shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> cool. Get this is how I die. Oh my god! Not with a bang, cool. but with an unsexy tentacle. <laughs> cool. Uh. That, yeah. Um, <laughs> is that like? It took me down to zero, and the yeah. rest of it. Does that it does uh, it's only if that if the damage exceeds your hit point maximum also. Yeah, I'm trying like the to remain. No, Let's, I don't so, think it so does. 27 plus 23. It, it does not because oh, Okay, yeah, I've got 61. Okay. So I'm at oh zero. God. Not yeah. great. <laughs> yep. Uh and it's going to continue attacking you with its beak because this thing is <gasps> hungry. Yeah. But, oh my yeah. god! It does still need to hit your, your armor. Yeah. To, like, I mean, it's doing through. pretty fucking well! <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. Cool. Uh, that counts as, um... A fail. That counts as two death saving throw fails. Oh my <gasps> god! What the hell? I think... Okay, cool. Uh, cool. You guys see a sudden, like, gout of blood and darkness. I need to change the battle music. This has gone yeah. very serious very quickly. It's my fault. This is what I get for requesting combat. I wasn't yeah. expecting you to fall overboard. To be fair. Cool. This sucks. Um, Luca, make a death saving throw. Oh, oh my god! Can't... Okay, okay, 17. <laughs> so one success. Hey, okay. Can you tell us what's what's the what's the roundabout with this? What's, if I get one like, more sorry. fail, I die. <laughs> look. Yeah. What the? F look. No, if it hits me with one more attack, I die. <laughs> look. Yep. So, uh. 
and you see, like, because this is happening, you suddenly see, like, blood coming up yeah. from underwater. Yeah. All right, well, fuck. I think Ed is gonna dive overboard at that. Yep. Cool. <laughs> oh, I can't do anything from up here, but... Did you at least tie something around yourself? I would say that, you know how I didn't really take an action last term? The action would have also been tying a lifeline around myself, and I hope ended okay. the same. Uh, I threw something into the water, so I think I'm just gonna take that. That. You just, like, hook okay. your arm through the, the, like, life preserver and, like, dive under. You see Luca wrapped, or, like, by tentacles, and this huge, like, sort of gray green almost stony textured worm that has like suckered itself onto the bottom of the ship uh, yes. and is like currently digging into Luca trying to eat him <laughs> yeah all right well, you can cast spells underwater. Yes, I. Most of my spells are mental, so. Sting every brain. Did you yeah. cast um, Eldritch Blast underwater last time we were underwater? Yes, I'm yes, so yeah, perfectly capable of doing that. My spell, my my fire is magical, so not necessarily. Oh, but I'm not awake fire. to like <laughs> defend against the magic. Yeah, it's got other things. It's fine. I'm tossing up between two options. So can I just confirm, the sucker is attached to the ship and its tentacles have Luca like pressed against its little beak, yeah? Yeah. But does it still have a clear shot at the actual thing? What do you mean? Does N still have a clear shot, air quotes, at oh, yes. the actual thing without hitting yeah, Luca? Yes, yeah. it's very large. It is it's very big. big. <laughs> that's how it's got. That's how it's got meaty boy Luca on death's door. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I think. Zeke, I think. Zeke. I need more AC. <laughs> I think what takes precedent here is is Luca because the only other thing I can think to do that would be advantageous in ends mine other than just hit it uh, might take Luca with it <laughs> and we can't have that. So yeah. I think it just. Yeah, and's gonna swim in to Luca's range and spare the dying. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Luca, you are immediately stabilized and have succeeded all of your death saving throws. Oh, On your oh turn, God. you will have to start rolling them again because you are still underwater. Yeah. 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 But Does that is... get me to one HP or is it back to like you are at, out? you are you are still at zero, but you have right, like yeah. your your death saving throws have been reset basically. Okay. Cool. Because I was so close. So, uh, and any bonus actions you would like to take? Uh, duh. I mean... I would let you psychically intimidate this thing. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I'll do that. As a bonus then, action? <laughs> yeah, sure. I think, yeah, then we'll psychically try to communicate with it, like, let him go, or you're gonna lose all of your tentacles, and then I'm gonna break that beak. You'll never make, eat uh, again. Make an <laughs> yeah, I will make you forget how to eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will move your tentacles Make one an intimidation one. check. <laughs> you know what's dinner? so scary. Oh, 16. Oh, not bad. Okay. This little shark is biting him. Yay! <laughs> I think it recoils Seven. from you and, like, loosens its grip on Luca. Yes. Maybe? And, like, comes but up behind Luca and, like wrenches their hands around him and glares past them while well glow at this thing. <laughs> cool. That's your turn. I am a shark in the water and you don't want to fuck with me. <laughs> Energy. <laughs> mm. My food, let it go. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that kind of energy. What? Something it can understand, mm. you know? Mm -hmm. That's my favorite cringy trope. <laughs> This is my meal. <laughs> Willow, your turn. Okay, let me think. Blood in the water. N has just dived in. Yep. Blood in the water is N's rap name. 
Haha. <laughs> 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 anyway, uh... <laughs> no I joy passes these like, lips until so you're name. on the deck again. Sorry. Yep. It's fine. I you're mean... Dead. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Think that makes up for it? Yeah, maybe. I'm probably... Well, I'm gonna jump in, but does that count as my move? No. It would it would it count for like half your movement or like a little bit of your movement. Can I use a spell once I'm in? Yeah. You could cast spells underwater. Yep, I think I'm gonna ends in there already anyway, so this thing needs more target than one. Two. Oh, it feels awful to bank on my vortex warp when it's literally never worked. Look at that resisting <laughs> though. Oh yeah. He can't. <laughs> yeah, if they don't resist, yes. then it just automatically Sorry, works. Sorry, I thought it was an aim thing. Okay, good. Fine, fucking... Okay, then Will is diving in, crossbow in hand. Okay. Cool. Are we subscribing to um, the idea that bullets work under the water? It's magic. It's, it's, a, bullets. it's a spell. <laughs> oh, yeah! I thought, you, I thought you attacked with the bullets to cast your spell. No. 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 Um, so Willow's going to... Do the somatic aspect obviously before hopping in to like prepare it if that counts. This it's, is flavor. You can you can cast anything underwater, it just loses breath. If it has a verbal yep. component. Yep. No, it's only because the way that Willow tends to cast it is with a physical maneuver, but yeah. that's more flavor than uh Yeah. Um, okay, Willow's gonna hop in right behind Fish Dog. I don't need to get that close, actually, so I think I'm hopping around here. Mm -hmm. Um, with my lifeline around my waist, and I'm going mm -hmm. to fire Luca with the vortex warp. Cool. All right. The issue is C within range. So I think you can would just him? like, uh, you can see him. the The destination has to be something that you can see within range. Can you pop him up to the surface so Varus can get him? Like, oh, can I not see? Away. Like, for example, if I can look up and see the mast or the cabin or <laughs> something, can I not just shoot him at that? Yeah, he'll land a bit messy on the deck, but it's better than being back in the water. Make an intelligence check. The door is also here on the ship, as an aside. I'll do a check, but yeah. Intelligence. It's because you are physically underwater right now. You have portholes yeah. in the no. bottom deck? Okay. No. no. That would solve our problems. Okay. okay, so you managed to, like, calculate your aim to shoot Luca hmm. just barely above the lip of the deck where he'll uh, be able to land uh, safely aboard without, uh, like, taking more damage. Yeah. Even if he's slung over the side of the ship, anything's better than being in the water. Yes. Okay. Varys cool. can see him. So Luca has <sighs> stopped choking and suffocating in the sense of he is now able to breathe and is stabilized. Mm. Good, 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 good. Oh, uh, thank God. Okay. I think Fishdog still has a turn. Yes. Um, just trying to get his little character sheet open. I'm just going to make it do a force strike. Will it be able to get there in time? Range 30, one target. Yeah. yeah. Just make it force strike. Okay. Cool. Hey! Yes. That is a hit. Roll for damage. Four. Cool. <laughs> pew, pew. It's damage. Choo! It certainly will hopefully keep its attention more than N. Fish dog's yeah. gonna get eaten. Better than N being no. eaten. Luca, shut your <laughs> Listen, I don't want anyone mouth. to be eaten. <laughs> Once we kill it, we can carve fish dog out of its stomach. You're okay. so right. Less so for bits of me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna say uh, fish dog moved a little closer while doing that to so get before okay. N. Okay. There. 
Between the intimidation and the fish dog poking and hopefully fish dog is the tastier target now. Yes, <laughs> okay. Uh, cool. Varys' turn. Um... Oh gosh. Does Varys know that does Varys have access to any healing potions? Um, um, yes, we, I gave, okay. I didn't specify this last round, but I would have made sure that when we were divvying up potions from Colbicons that everyone has one. Okay, in which case, I also Varys have, has one and will administer it. Okay. <laughs> I imagine you don't have them on you while you're, yeah, yeah. like, just on the ship. I don't think you have your backpack on you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. Let me just Varys will check. use a common healing potion on Luca and roll for medicine. So, so two D four plus you. two. Hey, seven oh. HP. Luca recovers. Oh, I'm oh, alive. I was, I was gonna say though, um, the potions from Colbacon, three potions of greater healing. Oh. In which oh. case, that's a. Uh, ignore the seven, so I'll re-roll that to be uh, 44 plus four. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, sh- Eleven. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All those ones. Of course, it's from Colbacon. Just, just That's Colbacon's way of saying, fuck you. <laughs> Hope you get eaten, bitch. Cool. Uh, so, that's Varys' turn. Great. Tis the Grick's turn. Or well, ship leech. I've re <laughs> I've repurposed a, a different monster's stat block for this. Nice. Uh it will attack N and Fish Dog. So one tentacle <laughs> to N. <laughs> oh. Yeah, You're scary, is but it like Jesus it is modifier. N- That'll hit. Sorry. Large. Seven. There's so many. It's not cool. a net twenty, so I'll take it. It fucking hurts, though. <laughs> yeah, it fucking hurts. So you get slashed at uh, and drawn in close. This one is aimed at Fish Dog. Who heard it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> How much damage? A sad little broken toy. <laughs> Night. <Nice. laughs> Fish Dog is toast. Yep. Fish Dog gets, like, basically grabbed like a soda can and like shredded oh. Fuck. please please get its shard back oh that's a sad x <laughs> <laughs> x marks the, the fucking spot <laughs> am i pulled well in so i'm like here now you're like well within its range um yeah just you're to be scary fair. you're scary so it's gonna try and eat you next Yep. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Oh my there god. There goes Ed. I'm down. <laughs> Shit! Oh. So much blood in the water! Yeah, this is uh, very scary. Yeah, it cool. is actually. We should just get everyone out of the water and regroup. Just leave it there. Well, I mean, yeah, that the was the plan, plan, but you know. Bit busy now. <laughs> Luca, you are awake. You have you you wake up on the deck of the ship, uh, sort of spluttering a little bit. You are prone, but otherwise okay, despite being badly hurt. All right. Do I have my sword on me? Is the question. Do we think? I feel like Luca always wears his sword. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'll use, uh, what is it? Half my movement to get up. Yes. Uh, I'll use my action to do all of my lay on hands. Okay. Give me. And jump in the water beside Willow. Fuck's sake. Do you guys not realize I'm trying to get you out of the water? Well, yeah, but I don't know It might be better for you to Can Varys advise you? I'm trying. I'm gonna try and vortex warp and out of here again, and you're gonna be back okay. in. I will ask within reach. What happened to Varys? Uh, cool. Uh, I'm gonna take it as that is your turn. 
No, wait, did you? Wait, what's what happened? Are you Luca jumping in or no? What happened? Luca is yeah, not jumping. Yeah, my main action oh, okay. was healing, so. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Cool. N, make a death saving throw. Yep. <laughs> 17. Okay. That's a success. Okay. Cool. Matching. One success. Cool. Willow. God's sake. Just saw fish dog explode, seeing N die. <laughs> I would like to. N can't refuse a vortex warp right now, yes? Nope. Nope. I can't refuse anything, be it being eaten or vortex warp, so. I'm <sighs> between the two. Yep. Well, thank goodness I didn't use my arcane lock again today because I've just used both of my level two spells. I'm going to hit you with vortex warp. Joop. Same calculation. Poor Varus just seeing yeah. it being <laughs> on yeah. the deck. Yeah. What does it look like when when something gets vortex warped, by the way? Okay, yeah. so uh, I wanted to show this off in better circumstances. But basically, because of the spin in Willow's gun that I imagine them doing, which they haven't mm -hmm. been able to do underwater, but just imagine like the vibe of it. Something mm -hmm. about it implies a circle. I think Willow, if not for being able to spin the crossbow, there is a motion of it, rolling it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The thing that they fire at, it gets hit by the usual zip of blue light. It lights with a, the blue light, but with a motion as if it's also been tumbled along with mm -hmm. the gun. Gun. The uh, crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> Call it, the bullets. It snatches back into the crossbow, and then when uh, Willow fires it, it's like it's releasing another piece of ammo, but it's you again spinning mm -hmm. out of it. So you guys tumble onto the deck. Like magically, the silhouette of you glowing blue spins mm -hmm. and then lands. Um, I've always expected that if you guys were alive to feel it, it would make you feel nauseous. Like you've just kind of been on a spinny roller coaster. Do you, you Sonic roll us? Is that what you're saying? Kind of, yeah. It's like the Samus roll. A little roll bit boomeranged. Well. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, a little bit. Oh, yeah, the Samus yeah. roll. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. Cool. It's like that. So, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> You're right. So yeah, it does that and you land on the deck a little bit like while you're in magic form, while you're reduced to your little glowy self, you are weirdly compressed and spinning and then yeah. you land like yourself. Blah. Cool. So Very Luca, you ask, what happens? There's another ping of light and like and tumbles like a sack of shit onto the deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Next to you. Of course. So that's, uh, Willow, what do you do? Do you move away? Do you stay in the water? I'm going to try and move back. Okay. Get out of the it water? get an attack of opportunity if I move back, yeah? Uh, you don't know what its range is. Well, I mean, I'll try and get away and up okay. onto the deck if that's possible. Okay, give me a quick athletics check to swim with armor. The DC is not that high, but I want to see how far you got. Hey! Now 20. You're back on deck. So you're like clambering yep. on deck. Yep. Cool. Uh, Varys will help you up on his turn and just like what's down there? <sighs> leech. A leech? A big one. Does Varus, is Varus asking like leech like a worm? Uh, is that the disbelief in his voice? It, it, it's, it's more like a what the? Uh, he needs to make. Uh, let's give him a little quick intelligence check to remember what Monkey. the fuck a ship hey, leech. 18. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like you say leech, and then he's like, oh no, he knows what that is. And we definitely want to stay out of the water. <laughs> no shit. Will <laughs> <laughs> Willow kind of laughs and then looks back out. See, I feel like I see the little blip of my like fish dog's dragon shard just like sink. Yeah, slowly, <sighs> yeah. Cool. How are the uh, other two doing, by the way? Just at a glance. Well, Ed is unconscious. Ed is on the ground bleeding. We are, we are still, we're, we're still in initiative. 
The ship uh, yeah. leech is going to make a perception check. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I hope its tentacles come up. That's my favorite scary thing on a boat. <laughs> Ooh. Shit! Yeah. Why are you rolling that? <laughs> so, uh, it knows where you're headed. Um. <laughs> it's kind of? <laughs> Oh my god, no, another one! <laughs> wow, did you speak to Orkan? I spoke to Luca. How did they get, this? How did they get those photos? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. So, uh, I think with like, I don't think it necessarily let go of Fish Dog. Uh, so okay. it just like, it Crunched tries it like to like, can. yeah, it, it did crunch it like a Coke can and like, it bit N, then got, like, N got zooped out of its grasp. Mm. It was like, what the hell? My sandwich. Pull <laughs> <laughs> so up my sandwich. Like, <laughs> sandwich. So it tries happening? to, like, it tries to, like, chomp at fish dog. Fish dog does not taste good. It Fish dog is metal. Uh, so it rises above, like, half of it is still submerged in the water, but it is now rising above deck uh drops fish dog and uh oh. looks ready for more rounds okay, Luca, your turn cool i'm going to summon my skeed all right how long does it's... it take to do that let's see oh my god 10 minutes <laughs> never mind <laughs> never mind sorry Same i'm dying What's <laughs> okay. We know, we know, Luca. Yeah, we know. Wow, you guys both got new scars from this. Yep. That's pretty cool, matching scars. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where is my shield in this moment? I'm going to assume that we leave it on top deck so that I yeah. have quick access to it. Yeah. You might have let, like chucked it down before you did your race, even. Yeah. yeah. Race it. So it's like, I'm gonna say it's like, in this little pantry thing, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that gives me ten, ten movement. Is mm -hmm. it ten? I would say yeah. five is enough. Five. Okay. You could just like lean and grab it. That's an yeah. object interaction free. <laughs> Equip your shield. Yeah. And I don't want to get too close. We, no, just, we just gave you a trident. No, we shouldn't. True. We did just give you a trident. I don't think Luca has it equipped. No. Mm. But this is I'm the perfect board, time man. for it. <laughs> you placed it down outside. Did you ever take it back? I didn't, That day, actually. you placed it down on the deck. Zeke, would you let that sexy little no. thing happen? No. <laughs> no, mm. okay. 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 Luca's too respectful. Uh -oh. He would have stored that weapon away. It's yeah, nice. Yeah, he it's would have. No. Okay, so Thanks, equipping Luka. my shield is my action? No, it's no? free. Free action, okay. Um, I'll call it an this? object interaction. <laughs> okay. So should I attack it? Is the question. That might, be, that might be smarter. Yeah. Because Willow or Varys can help in, so... Yeah, I'm not quite at death door the way you were. Yeah. I'm going to try and, like, slice its tentacle off so I can get Fish Dog back. Okay. Oops. Oh, no. That's an 11. Uh, does uh, not hit. But you get two attacks, don't you? <laughs> yeah. I do, yeah. 19? That does hit. And I'm Ooh. going to add my Divine Smite. Good. So that's another 13 radiant damage. Okay, good. So for 20 damage overall. Uh, you stab into, or like you cut across it uh, at one of its tentacles and like the burst of divine light uh, seems to like sting it more. Uh, Ooh. It is a meaty boy. Yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, and make another death saving throw. And do. 
The 19. Nice. Okay. Two successes. Willow. Well, I would like to get in awake. Yeah. Foremost. Unless I can trust Varys to do that and I try and attack instead. If you want to hand him a... Do you have a healing potion on you? Um... You can hand him another one, so... I have a potion from Luca. Seems like a good time to use it. I mean... Because you can hand... You can hand Varys a a potion as, like, an object interaction. I will let that happen, and then you can attack. What if I... Okay, can I cure wounds and... And also, can I pull and back and cure wounds them? Yes, you can drag them away and use, yeah. Yeah, because I don't want them just sitting there for the remainder of the attack. So I think Willow's going to pull and in here, if I can. Yeah, yes. Pull and drag and in, bleeding Mm -hmm. their way through my door, and um, (laughs) cure wounds. Okay, cool. Roll to cure. (sighs) 12. Hey. Better than zero. <gasps> mm-hmm. All right. Cool. Will it hit you with a little static tap that you are very accustomed to by now? I've used this on you three times at least. Uh-huh. <sighs> Twice to bring you back from the death. It's, and mm-hmm. jolts awake. <laughs> the sputter. Morning. Leech is on board. Oh, good. You can hear it, like, thrashing and, like, rocking the boat at the front <laughs> mm-hmm. as, like, it fights with Luca. Yep. Cool. Uh, and I think that's your turn, Willow. Yep. Cool. All right. Varys's turn. Uh, he is going to draw his swords and also try and uh, get into melee with it. Because fuck this thing. Mm-hmm. Is he using uh, his fancy new sword or his old guys? Um. Uh, fancy new sword. Uh, so two yes. scimitar attacks. Ooh. Actually, I would need to make it a plus one. So. Let me... With the master scimitar? Yeah. So cool. let me uh, just quickly updating that. Uh, so that's an 18 and 8 slashing damage. Cool. Captain Ferris. Helmsman Ferris. <laughs> cool. And I will roll another attack. Uh, that's a miss. And he will make one sort of uh, extra dagger as a bo- bonus action. Dang. It's, this thing is, this thing's hide is really tough. It's like, he keeps mm. like trying to, like, he manages to find a weak spot sort of like between like these toughened ridges of the body. But like mm. the rest of its hide is like quite hard and leathery covered in like thick scales. Cool. Mm. Um... Ship leech turn. Uh, one attack on each boy. Oh no! Hold oh my god! Luca, so that's a miss. That does not hit. Oh. And one on Varus. <laughs> Holy sh! Should hit. Ah. Uh, yes. Wait! 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 Wait, oh. wait. Are Sorry, you, you sound like you're going through your backpack. Uh, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, he's 10 feet away, right? Um, I'll say you're next to each other. Okay, in which case. Uh, Sorry, you sound really far away. Sorry, I was reading. In which case, okay. I will use the Vigilant Guardian 
Mark with mm-hmm. the sentinel magic to swap places with him and take the attack, oh. which Ooh. then misses. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So, so uh, like, with a, a f- sort of, I believe you s- described it as a flash of blood red light, Luca sort yes. of swaps places. Cool. You boogie woogie with Varys. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm just gonna scoot fish dog over here. It's been dropped on deck. And then use my shield to like brush off the attack. Yeah. Ooh. Awesome. Nice. Yum. This ship leech is real pissed off at you now. <laughs> Luca, your turn again. Okay. What can father do? Uh... Okay. I will just attack again for All right. goodness. That is a 22, Ooh, and I am going to use my Divine Smite. All right. Oh. So, and another one. Uh, does not hit, I assume. That does not hit, no. No. And let's see. Can only cost one Smite a turn, right? Yes. I think so. Okay. Then that's my spell for the turn, or is that just my... Yeah. That's your spell for the turn. Then I have... Um... One more thing. Let me check. I have a lot that I can do. Okay. That's all for now. I end my turn. (laughs) Cool. Face down on the field. <laughs> yep. <laughs> not, not this Face time. Face down in the defense position. <laughs> <laughs> and you wake up. You are prone uh, and hurt, yes. but alive. And yeah. no longer underwater. Yeah, both good things. Both things I can work with. Uh, so I'll use some of my movement, half my movement, to get up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to follow up on that intimidation, poke myself out the door, see this thing, and use dissonant whispers on it. Hell yeah, mm. cost distant whispers at third level. Yes. Because what? warlock. Yep. Damn. Warlock <laughs> auto costs at <gasps> highest level. <gasps> Holy <Whoa>. shit. <laughs> That's so many dice. That's uh, many dice. Cool. So it needs to make a wisdom <laughs> saving throw. Yeah, or it takes half damage. Damn, oh, are you man. kidding me? Oh my god. It still takes half damage, though. It does still take yeah. half damage, so that's half of um, 15 for... Half of 11? Six. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Sorry, I'll stop talking. <laughs> but I am also going to duck back inside, so I'm not yeah. in its yeah. range. Yes. Mm-hmm. Click my tongue. It's really pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> cool. That's your turn. Hello. Yes, it is. I'm going to lean over N as they like we tag out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And hit it with three Those magic missiles. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Roll for your magic missile damage. Am I hitting the right thing? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Cool. So one, eleven damage. Uh, yeah, nice. Uh, this thing is looking significantly hurt now. You'd like shoot and uh, three arrows, like uh, three arrows of like blue light. I believe you've described your magic missile before. Sort of zoop mm. out, like spin around and hit it in the back of whatever head this thing has. Mm. If it has an eye, I'm aiming for it. Uh, none visible into to its you. mouth. <laughs> Cool. Varys' turn. Unless you want to do anything else, Willow? Um, don't believe I have any bonus actions to use in this case. Do nope. I? You have movement, though. Okay, kind of just feel in. like I'll end up, yeah, with my movement. I think I go back in. If that counts. Cool. I just, doop, doop, uh, doop, doop. You've disabled the carpet for the day, I assume, while it's, yes. while it's yeah. not my time. <laughs> 
All right, cool. Uh, Varus's turn. Believe in you. Avis! Oh! Oh, yeah! oh, 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 Mr. Green, leave! Nice. Uh, so that's a total of 15 damage. Uh, this thing is looking badly hurt. Like, Varus, like, manages to tag team with Luca now that he's in a different position. Like, swipes at it in the, like, uses the points where Luca stabbed it to, like, come in and, like, do two quick, like, crisscross slashes at this thing. It's looking really badly hurt. Like, the, the tentacles are, like, uh, ragged. It is bleeding onto the deck as well now. Like, this thick, mm. sort of, almost purple-blue blood. It's bad. Uh, and we'll use bonus action to... Uh, dagger. Miss. Wiggly. Yeah. Uh, dagger is not doing him any favors. Cool. Hmm. Uh, enraged. Uh, this thing is going to uh, go berserk and attack as many things as possible. Uh... I think it's aiming for Varus exclusively at this point, who has just done, like, a huge chunk of damage to it. Mm. Oh, shit. Ooh. Uh... Yeah, those both hit. Uh... What's his AC? I'm 15. going to cast... Can I do Rebuke the Violent now? Yes. Yes, okay. Ooh. So... <clears throat> It needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh, can you post Rebuke the Violent in the chat, please? Yes, sir. No, that's the nice one. Give me the mean one. Uh, immediately after an attacker with, uh, deals uh, damage with an attack against you, you can... Okay. Uh... You're kidding! Yeah. What's Takes your what's your Okay, so uh Considering how much damage it deals. Both, <laughs> Twelve. Is it uh your It's after okay. the damage is dealt, so okay, after so Varus after, is hurt. after the first attack, let's say. Yes. Okay, so What does it look like when you when when this happens? How does Rebuke the Violet look? Luca raises a hand towards the creature and kind of grips nothing and yanks back. And as he does, a like stream of blood pops out of every orifice, like spurts out of every open orifice and gaping wound from the creature. Okay. So uh, as Varus takes like a huge hit from the first one and this thing is like starting to rear back uh, to do a second hit, uh, Luca, you make this yanking gesture uh, and like all the blood that is still remaining in this creature suddenly like bursts forth draining in like this sort of it like seems to collect in like this bubble of blood in front of your hand like just streaming towards you as you drain the life from it uh, like it's like glowing red with your uh, divine magic And as it does this, there is one, like, shuddering gasp, and it falls over dead. <gasps> you killed him before that the That was the attack? killing blow. Yes. Yeah. yes. Oh, gosh. <sighs> is Varus okay? That is my first uh, concern. Yeah, Varus took a big hit, but he's he's still standing. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, gosh. Okay, sound off. Not dead. <laughs> I... Still alive. Oh. <sighs> Varus pats. I mean, look at Pat's Varus's arm. Like, good <sighs> job. Damn. Casts uh, cure wounds on Varus. And the Pat hobbles out. Much appreciated. <sighs> you were scary. Speak for yourself, I was near. 
how much blood did you lose? Uh, all of it. <laughs> oh. The leech, like, slumps onto the deck, basically. <laughs> oh. Luca looks at N coming out of the door and he points at them. You won! I think I would have preferred losing <laughs> if that's the result. Sovereigns <laughs> and six. And like collapses against the wall of the cabin and slides down into a sitting position. I think we'd best head inside and take a moment to dress our wounds. Oh. He, Varys, looks to Willow and says, That was right handy what you did, getting them out of the water. <sighs> Willow just nods. They, they, they can't think of what to say. And you just pick up the dog. Up they seem upset. D don't you dare. Do how do you guys look? How does, how does everyone look? I know that everyone's injured, but does anyone look very particularly injured? Um... And probably, because, yeah. Yeah, ends probably the worst at the moment. I've Varys is also doing rough. Yeah, Varys is just at sixteen. Luca managed to use his own lay on hands to like heal the worst of his injuries. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think um, if oh, no, I should probably save my spells. I think Willow will nod. Ferris is right, everyone head in. May I then peels himself off the floor and looks yeah. at the streak of blood that they made on the way into the cabin initially. Mm. Willow's going to gesture to Luca and needs immediate attention. I'm and give right. a like um Curious, what's the damage left by the? Because you guys would have been tatted. Luca's clothes are surely like tatted too. Like oh yeah, like it's, by it's, the actual it's creature. Like what kind of scars are you guys left with? Yeah, that's the that's a good question. Um, so everybody just heads inside and we'll take a short rest. To... Can I just have a? I didn't lose any health. Can I have a look no. at the creature? Yeah, you no? are absolutely fine. You are absolutely fine to. Uh, I would like to like see what Willow is about in passing as I go inside to see what their vibe is. I rolled 24, so. Cool. What was Zeke saying? Sorry. Uh, you have taken no damage, so you are absolutely fine to continue working without needing a short rest. It's the others that are like taking an hour to like bandage their wounds, feed themselves, and like recover some HP. Yeah, I'm gonna roll hit dice. <sighs> yeah. Nice. Not bad. I'll also roll one. Nice. I'm gonna roll a second one. Cool. <laughs> wow, that's better than I'll... what I was. <laughs> oh, you guys. I'll cast Cure Wounds on N. That goes the last of my... How much does... How much do you have left? Four. Okay. That almost brings me up to maximum. Cool. Yeah. Varys and Anne have like a, a... Varys is also like still a little bit injured, but he's yeah. fine as he is. N too. Oh, if N looked okay, I would have used that last Q wins on Varys. So. You can decide who gets it. I'll leave it with Anne. Varys is doing okay. all right. I'd like to analyze the corpse, please. Oh, okay. What did I see before Willow? Before we Willow went for looks... a short rest. Willow is not unaccustomed to the perils of the sea, but perhaps unaccustomed to you guys facing the perils of the sea and looks a little rattled by that. Okay. And clearly wants to just see more about this creature if there's anything to pull from it anything mm -hmm. to carve out of it sure um give me oh, the amount of blood on the deck yeah it's it's nasty you're going to have to swap the deck pretty bad 
Luca will do that later. Well, later, later, later. later. Uh, give me an. Uh, let's say a general investigation check at first, and then you can ask me questions. Cool, ten. Um, all right. Uh, in which case, uh, this thing is, like, badly hacked up, but it looks like it's just, like, it's, while it is a monster, it's essentially, like, no more interesting than a beast would be. Cool. Nothing to pull uh, from it, like, you- his own eyeball? No, um, I don't think you see anything of value on it. Uh, give me a nature check, let's say. Hmm. The other thing I want to check is if they travel in pods. Well, natural. Okay, training. cool. So, uh, ship leeches are sort of worm-like sea monsters that will attach themselves to the undersides of ships uh, and basically use them to be carried around the sea uh, as, like, freeloaders. Mm. <laughs> um, they are carnivorous. Uh, Clearly. But they don't exclusively pl- prey on humanoids. Usually what the, the biggest issue that they cause is for fishing vessels, where they will, like, literally steal part of the catch Right. If not all of it, and there are real the catch of the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. So they they are like opportunistic predators that like to sort of just uh, attach themselves to the undersides of ships uh, and be a nuisance. This one is particularly large for a ship leech. Uh, mm-hmm. And they are generally solitary. Okay, so I don't have to worry about a second one being on the ship. No, but you might want to uh, check and make sure it didn't leave any eggs. Yeah, gladly. Does it damage, like, the hull of the ship with its existence? No, surprisingly not. It just, like, suckers onto it. You know, like a, oh. a sucker fish to a shark? Yeah. It just, like, has, okay. like, a large... Mm-hmm attaching thing. The the tentacles themselves don't really have suckers so much as they have barbs okay. for for snagging prey that like bring it close to its beaky mouth. Mm-hmm. Thanks, I hate it. If I can, while I'm doing my rounds, is that so there's nothing to pull from this? Nothing interesting uh, about it. It's just a tentacle uh, monster that almost killed my crew. Yeah, kind of. Cool. Can I cast Thunder Wave? Yes. <laughs> I think Willow looks quite cool as they are going around the uh, thing, analyzing it from every angle, and then standing back from it, they just clap. There is a boom of thunder that you hear, and it is swept off the side of the ship. Uh, it is swept in a messy, gnarly explosion as, like, yep. the ripple of sound, like, shreds its flesh more, and it turns into chum as you discard it into the ocean. Oh. Yep. So... There's a big ol' splatter. It's yeah. like you just like you've you've created essentially like a ten foot wide drag mark as this thing got like chunked into the ocean and becomes chum. Fish food, even. Yeah. Will it will it looks <laughs> claps, destroys it with this massive like burst of thunder? takes a deep breath and we'll do a lap around the boat just to see if there's anything they can see from the top end that looks like eggs or anything but of course we'll need to probably wait until we're docked to have a proper look yeah would fish dog have a look if it was repaired is that something it could do imagine so yes cool make a perception check Fourteen. Uh, you don't spy anything in particular. Um, you did nat twenty on a nature check. I'm going to say it was not the egg laying kind. Ah, okay. Cool. No eggs. So, 
Then I'm just pacing yeah. just to get that energy out of my system then. Yeah. A, a massive boom of thunder does kind of work. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Honestly, I think meanwhile, after N is like doing better, they get up from where they've been sit, sat at the table to kind of nurse their wounds and huff. They're going to go back downstairs. And um, I'll yeah. move you over to the other map. <laughs> The interior map. Yeah. I'm gonna go back downstairs, back to where they shoved those contracts under their pillow, yank them back out, unfold them, and I'm like, if I was just if I was just comfortable enough to parse these, if I could just focus on these, that wouldn't have happened. Stupid, stupid. And just try and look at them again, like God damn it. If I like was just not being a weak little baby about it, I could actually get it done and not throw people into the ocean with my stupid little tricks and yeah, pissed off trying to parse these contracts again. And Make another investigation check. Oh. oh yeah that I think, absolutely tracks yeah. yeah i think like you look at it and like you see like just tears a tear like drops onto it and you're like fuck yeah fuck put this. it down again slaps the contracts down face face down on the floor because i imagine they're sitting like beside their hammock yeah, yeah. It's like hits them with their fist a couple times, rakes their hand through their hair. Just tries to settle. So should I roll that wisdom save for N to see yes, what please. they're gonna do about their little breakdown? Yeah, hey. a little cry, stress cry. Yeah, oh that my tracks God. for oh my day God. today. You know, Willa's gonna come in and ask like, "Where's N?" So I'm just. They went downstairs to wash up. Yeah. I think Varys and Luca are, um, uh, after, like, the hour of, like, taking a rest, tending your wounds, all, all three of you, Luca and, and Varys, um, uh, you have started to, like, make the ship ready again. Yeah. So... You may now continue. Oh. No, I was just going to say, Luca probably was praising Varys for his combat prowess while they were resting. <laughs> I think there's a little bit of banter. It's like, yeah. it's not the first sea monster <clears throat> I've fought, but it's definitely one of the bigger ones. And Luca encourages him to, like, explain, because he's curious, obviously. Go into it, that I think, kind of thing. Yeah. While you guys are bantering, I might go check on N. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So N, what does uh what does an eight look like for you? An eight looks like Kai. So when Willow comes down oh. the stairs, uh they're going to find short black hair, eye patch, stoic face. Cloak pulled over shoulders, sitting on the sofa, just reclined, and staring at a wall, more or less, but will turn his attention towards you as you come down. Mm, Willow slows as they round the couch. Oh, haven't seen you in a minute. Hello. He sighs and stares back at the wall. And just needs a moment. There's no need to be concerned. Eleven insight. To be fair, it's Kai. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll give you a fighting chance. Yeah, oh. there's... That's an 18. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unreadable um, monotone. Yep. Yeah, I am going to perceive, though, to see what kind of wounds might be left 
What's the damage? Kai still carries the same wounds as in. And I've got a natural freaking 20. Yeah, if Kai notices you're like leaning in to examine Anne's body for all intents and purposes, he will like. I'm not leaning in, but. Just examining. I'm, I'm, you I'm know, yeah. catches that you're checking for wounds in whatever capacity. He'll, uh, he'll kind of shrug off the cloak a bit and let you have a look at his body. I think it might be like uh, you got dragged in by the leg. Hmm. Uh, so how does it sound like a uh, sort of uh, uh, sort of slashing wrapped scar around uh, the sort of cough ankle area? Yeah, makes sense. So Kai will roll up his uh, pant leg where it's been ripped <laughs> a bit, I think. Yes, I think Will is sort of kneeling to check it out, more or less. Um, it, you guys did the appropriate dressing and such. Luca did his magical yeah. healing. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's bandaged magically and stuff, switched. But... Yeah. yeah. Willow's going to ask now: Are you here because of that experience or for something else? And is having something of a frustrating day, and that did not help. Can I ask why? Anne and Luca were racing around the deck, as I'm sure you observed. Anne pulled a trick to try and win, which resulted in Luca going overboard, and the rest you know. Ah, so Anne is blaming themselves. Anne is aware it's not their fault. Good. And you're here, Willow stands. To keep things stable until that realization sits in. Sets in, rather. Until it is emotionally acknowledged. Yes. Hmm. Well, thank you for your service. Well, it's going to... Um... Probably just reiterate. Little tricks shouldn't result in immediate sea creature death. These two things aren't related, just in case N needs any extra ammo. Kai nods. The majority of N's tricks do not end in... that. It's rather unique, yes. Though perhaps we need to have another discussion about safety aboard the ship. Perhaps. How have you been? Kai kind of looks at you like almost confused by the question as much as Kai can look confused. Just like a little squint of the eye. Like, what's, what is that supposed to mean? I think Willow really started to walk off and then doubles back just to look you over. It's very clearly like... It, I don't know, it's just Willow's usual appraising look. Not appraising in this case, but... I haven't spoken to you for a while. I've been mostly unneeded, except for that time and needed sleeping aid. <laughs> Wouldn't be a stranger, you can pop out anytime. Right now, I am unnecessary. Uh, Kai squints a bit. Incorrect. Right now, I am necessary, but in general, I am not. I didn't say if necessary. I said if you want. Come enjoy some food. Indulge in some spoils. I am N. Yeah. Act like it. Willow's gonna walk off. I watch as you go. I'm going back upstairs. Sink into the sofa again. Stare towards the hammock where Anne has stashed away those contracts. Just stare. I think Willow goes up the stairs with a sort of announcing voice of, We need to have a discussion about boat safety. 
I, it needs to be a policy that we all tie lifelines around ourselves, especially the... Indeed. Less experienced sailors. What's a lifeline? You tie a rope to yourself so that if you fall overboard, we can haul you back in. Ah. How would we race with one of those on? You You wouldn't. Ah. Sorry. It's fine. It's a hard first lesson to learn. (laughs) We're also going to check Luca now, just to see where his damage is. Bang! (laughs) 18. Nice. Um, Where am I scarred? Yeah, um... I mean, you can choose, but, like, you got... Very hit. Yeah, I've got the full body damage if I want. Um, my assumption would have been like the hips because that's yeah. where it could have grabbed him. You know. Yeah. Like in yeah, the middle. I think you section. have like a a sort of like a, a sort of raking chomp where uh it tried to like get past your armor to eat you. Mm. Okay. <laughs> we were squatted by your chair and will use mending cantrip on your pants where it probably ripped through them. Mm. Honestly, the, the coat, the coat, the coat's more important. Speaking of that, I think downstairs, just briefly, um, <clears throat> uh, Luca gifted Kai slash N a mending kit at one point. And I think, well, he's mm-hmm. stuck here, present. Kai will try and mend the tears in N's clothes. Oh. oh. I imagine they weren't... Oh, I rolled a nat 20 on you, but... Maybe they weren't as severe as Lucas. Probably not. <laughs> yeah. I also, was very Lucas close to death, with like so... A, yeah, Lucas and they were like a massive, like, you know, the Fire Emblem Heroes damage things, like your yeah. massive yeah. dash upon your pants <laughs> and your jacket, and Willow's like, I am looking at your the men's crease of my thigh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I You're would probably like do a full hotness. wash up and in that like, change clothes, take the torn pants yeah. and put them in his lap. Yeah. Start sewing. Yeah. yeah. Nice. What did you do with the leftovers? Leftovers. From the the thing. The monster. Oh, fed them to the fish. Oh. Rolled a what? Ten on Varys? How's he? Uh just a little scuffed up, nothing permanent. He's got some okay. bandages on. I'm gonna make the same check on Willow. That's a four. <laughs> Nothing to see. They look fine. They are fine. Did yeah, it... they literally didn't get yeah. hit. Yeah. Did you? Did you even come outside? Willow stares at him. <laughs> are you just very clean? Yep. Good. Speaking of, the deck is not. I think Willow's going to um. Get a Start heading out. Yeah. Yeah, Luca will follow. <clears throat> Don't want any more creatures over, over here. So yeah, we're going to clean up the deck. Squab, squab. Squab, 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 squab. Varys, feel free to speed up the boat, by the way. Yes, he's already done that. Like, you're, okay, you're underway once again. Sweet. Um, yeah, and unless you want any other scenes, I'm gonna say we will fade tonight. The day continues as usual. Otherwise. Uh, I might roll another wisdom save to see if N's ready to come out yet, because as much as Kai is downplaying it, N's a bit in deep (laughs) of their psyche, so... I'm just going to check and see if they've managed to claw their way out yet. 
You know what? I don't think so. I think that's just below okay. the DC. <laughs> no. It's okay. Kai gets to hang out with us a bit. Yeah, that's always fun. <laughs> it's not, but we can pretend. You can join us for dinner. Yeah. And does need to eat, especially after losing blood, so... Mm -hmm. It's probably not a great idea, but we do have more fish to eat tonight, so... <laughs> We can just pretend it's the spoils of victory. Again, this is leftover shark, so. Mm -hmm. Shark soup. I'm at the top yeah. of the food Yum. chain Ooh. now, bitch. Eat the shark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, we all see dragons, right? No. Uh, Wink. No. How does, how does Varys respond to Kai coming up for dinner? Um, I don't think Varys has, like, seen a lot of Kai before. We had a conversation He's... after Rosalia died. Kai and Varys. Be not yeah. afraid. I am Kai. I yeah, remember that. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Yeah. <laughs> we, we had a conversation. We did have a conversation. Yeah. If Varys remembers. <clears throat> I mean, he hardly remembered last week, so like... Yeah, so I, I'll leave that to him. But yeah, Kai's gonna show up and silently sit down at the table and start eating. Ah. <laughs> yep, that is Kai this? experience. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's the reaction I expect, yes. <laughs> Chuckles, right? It gives you a bit of a, a look, <laughs> Luca. Just a blank look. Of like Willow's gonna put on that. some music <laughs> and then go yeah. back to eating. <laughs> I think Varys sort of does the so if Thales the soft spoken mm, poetically inclined one and and is the uh, more brash. I am mm. generally employed for dealing with danger and unsavory sorts. He's the sneaky one. Hmm. The danger has passed by now, though, so... Ah, oh, there are all types of danger. I think Willow tries to sort of cut in and, like, mm. pour beverages for everybody. We should probably toast to this. Survived our first encounter with a sea creature. Sea monster, specifically. Ooh, <laughs> monster. Is that worse? Is that more worthy you, of cheer? Well, <laughs> creature is a bit ambiguous. Ah. Uh, like a fish. <sighs> a single fish. Which one is. Just toast. Just toast. To surviving Cheers. our first encounter with a sea monster. <laughs> clink. 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 Kai will toast. Wait, can you clink in Kai's voice, please? Clink. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> clink. All right. Varys can regale us with tales of other sea monsters he's battled. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's battled that many um, what was it you said I'm nowhere near on Raga's level has that changed yes. yet <laughs> now that you've seen me in action maybe someday <laughs> you could get there Luca rolls his eyes <laughs> smiling though you do have different skill sets. Mm. He has the beard. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, the greatest skill of all pirates. Well, you know, some, some people have trouble growing them out full, coming patchy. That's why I don't have facial hair. 
Um, Rekka does have a very good beard. Anyway, Willow's looking at the kite. Willow laughed at Luca because he's like, he, he, have I lived up to the High Prince yet? And Willow's like, I saw you die. So like, no, but you're not asking me. You literally, your blood filled the water. <laughs> I didn't okay. saw your dead body, but Kai is just yep, yep. carving out a piece of steak and eating it. <laughs> Eyes down. <sighs> Emanating intimidation. <laughs> yeah. Intimidating none here. Maybe Varys. Yeah. Mm, let's do an inside check for, for Varys on Kai. I'm also going to do an inside check. I was just about to say, my little side glance yeah. at Kai. Oh, nice, nice. A six and a nine. Nice. Can I make an insight check for when Luca like first saw Kai coming up? Like, figure out why he's there. Probably make an educated guess, but, you know. I mean, if you want. Am I allowed, Zeke? I was asking Zeke. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. Is that legal? <laughs> yes. That's a wow, 22. Wow, you love that let's, 17 let's roll. Let's see. All right, yes. yeah. Above. Yay! Um, I think Kai doesn't necessarily show anything, but I think seeing Kai allows Luca to connect the dots of, yeah. like... And obviously, you figured that out in the moment, and obviously you pulled a little trick to try and, like, get an advantage in the race. Yeah. And you immediately went overboard after that, so... Yeah ends in the, the blaming themselves weeds. Okay. Okay. Continue Willow and Varys with your two and three. Mm -hmm. Two and three? Oh, well, you rolled a two, but I don't know what Varys rolled. Oh, it turns into a six. Yeah, and but it was like the dice was a two. It was a joke. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Is that any way uh... to speak to your high prince? You almost died in the ocean, Luca. You have no <laughs> what to stand on here. Stand in the I think, ocean. I think Varys just kind of like doesn't really talk to Kai since there's no in. <laughs> yeah, no, Kai's not making like, himself available for conversation. If yeah. you don't try, you don't take an ice pick to him. He's just here to provide N with sustenance. Yeah. Luca will probably mention that they lost some rations. All the better that we'll probably be reaching Scarn in a day or two. We do have plenty left, though. Aye, but... Going around the... Northern Cape is gonna... take significant time. I imagine we'll probably want to continue on until we reach Karn Bay. Looks at Willow. This is their their oeuvre. Willow pauses <laughs> a second and then says, that's the plan. What's the likelihood of another one of those attaching to the ship? Okay, I rolled oh. a very high nature check. Will I, we'll probably answer Luca. Mm hmm. What, do I know anything about that? Um. It's unlikely. Like, they're not that common. Certainly one that big is, like, a rarity. Mm. <laughs> is that all? Yeah, so it's l yeah. unlikely to happen again. Will Unless mention... you make yourselves especially attractive. <laughs> Somehow. Oh, damn um, it, I'm so attractive. <laughs> Willow might just mention we were uniquely unlucky in that circumstance. So hopefully it doesn't happen again. There are other perils to be concerned about. You know what? Willow might actually uh, bring open the Behemoths book mm. of Colbacons. Yes. As a kind of uh, guide for telling you guys about the kind of creatures that we might meet out at sea. Mm -hmm. um, just grab the name of that. 
I think it was Behemoths of the Bitter Sea. Ooh. Yeah. It's... Lost it. So yeah, I'm going to trust you on that. Mm-hmm. It's in money. Oh no, I put it in my captain's log. Yeah, Behemoths of the Bitter Sea. Bestiary of Strange Beasts. Bestiary? Mm-hmm. Yes. Either way it works. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Willow might start rifling through it and telling you guys random things. So what kind of creatures are in there? Um, so it's stuff like uh, pelagic uh, sharks and stuff like that. So um, look at us if we can eat whales. Them. Because we can eat regular sharks, so can we eat the other types of sharks? There are certain ones that I've, the the bitter sea sharks tend to be close to inedible uh, oh. because of the high uh, urea content in their blood to keep them from freezing. Uh, right, right. Uh, so, like, is the it's bitter like, sea an actual place? The bitter sea is the northern sea. Oh, okay. Well, then that's it's not super relevant there. here, but we can still talk about sea creatures. So this this east uh, on the eastern side, it's the Lazar Sea. Once you reach mm-hmm. like past this like point, above. it's the Bitter Sea. Yeah, well, I guess we will be passing through it then. Willow meant like from here to scan. What? Sea uh, no, are not yet. No. Yeah. At the but... moment, you are in Eel Bay, so. Yeah, so I think, I didn't realize, I thought it was Bitter Sea, the descriptor, not Bitter Sea, an actual place. <laughs> bitter Sea, so, yeah. that's like small sea, right? Is that what <laughs> I mean? Uh, so yeah, no, either way, it'll still be like, a, here's what we get to look forward to kind of thing about sea monsters. What kind of creatures yeah. might we expect locally that Willow might know about? Because I know these waters. Yeah. Um. Maybe not like very well, but... Well, ship leeches are by far the most dangerous. Or rather, the most annoying sea monster that are likely to bother actual sailors. Mm -hmm. Um, What other things? Followed Uh, very closely by dire sharks, right? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, there are sharks. There are um, some merfolk and marrow as well. Are we going to see more jellyfish? Yeah. Probably more likely than leeches, hopefully. Mm -hmm. I hope so. Um, All manner of ordinary sea creatures. uh, Giant seahorses sometimes. (gasps) Can I ride one? Quippers. Shakes their head. Bladefish, uh, whales, dolphins. Yeah, the usual. Yeah, the usual toolbox of sharks, hammer, yeah. saw. Yeah, there are there are less dolphins in Eel Bay uh, compared to like the the whales of the Bitter Sea and like the the Thunder Sea. They tend to prefer the sort of deeper ocean water. Eel Bay here. Um, mm. This sort of uh, Eel Bay is like this yep. whole area, which is like relatively contained and has like shallow water, so it gets warmer than um, you might expect for this latitude, which is why like green tarn and so on are, are like relatively warm yeah. like relatively temperate areas considering yeah. how far north you are yep well it wouldn't be um, telling like it, it's mostly yeah. sea beasts Creech. like sea monsters yeah, yeah. But not just like sharks whales anything yeah. to uh, interest like uh, dangerous yeah um I would say um yeah Ship leeches, uh, dire sharks. Mm-hmm. Uh, are they marrow. an actual type of shark in this universe, or just the pirates? Yes, they oh, are an actual I type of shark. 
Oh, like dire wolves. Okay, that makes sense. Yes. Oh, that's so lame. Uh, there are like uh, of Colbercon. I mean, like yeah, he's lame. The others are called sea dragons, so like it's not. Yeah, uncommon. but that's you know. But yeah, the, basically just t like talking it idly about that. Yeah, about creatures uh, that we might encounter. Yes, uh, a lot of morph. So marrow are a problem. Uh, they're sort of like a an alternate faction slash uh, culture of merfolk who are often quite aggressive to. Uh, surface creatures. Yep. I, I was going to say, too, would my other miscellany have stuff in here? Yeah. My uh, creature book? Yep. I forgot what it was called, yes. too. Vidalis Guide uh, to Magical Beasts or something like that. Yeah. Um, harpies and rock are also very common as, like, sea creatures. Sometimes you also get um, various pteranodons. Oh my Pteranodon. god. Is that a dinosaur? Hate it cool. here. I'm gonna canonize that Luca didn't know dire sharks were sharks. He thought it was just a, <laughs> like a, a powerful a name. sounding name. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, like sharks, but worse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Uh, if if we're kind of like done looking through the book, Kai might actually have something mm -hmm. to say, but I want to get through like talking about whatever beast we might mm -hmm. find and whatnot first, because it'll be at the table. Yeah, yeah, this is mainly just banter, Liver. so like. Just telling you guys about stuff. Yeah. We'll Luke hand the books interested. off and more or less be like, eh. Things to look out for other than usual. Speaking of things to look out for as we sail, there's something you should all probably know. At the convocation, N met a lizard folk man named Angel Eye. And then Kai is going to pull out the book now and flip to the page where and did the little cartoonish doodle of Angel Eye. Mm -hmm. More intimidating mm -hmm. in person, trust me. And he kind of puts the book down and turns it so you can see it right side up, see the doodle. According to him, and Kai will like run his finger over the note and took, he's a sawbones aboard the Chaos Fleet ship, the Abyssal. Cut pauses in case anyone has a question up front. And I and just have a perception look at the drawing itself. Do I notice that it has little cracks on its face? And made those pretty prominently, so I think a 15 is good yeah. enough to notice that and yeah. has done a uh, crude rendition of their cracks on the lizard folk's face instead of like scales. They've mm -hmm. kind of far gone detailing any scales for these. I think Varys asks, what did he want with you? He took an interest in N, seemed to notice that we shared a similar magic, and I'm inclined to agree. He had a similar skin condition. I vaguely gestures to his face. Hmm. Willow's expression had gotten a bit more grave when they s put it together, that the sketch was the same as yours, and so they're just, like, avidly listening. Due to that similarity, he seemed to have an interest in having a look at me, at N, at our magic. As part of the Chaos Fleet, his powers likely stem from Fiber or Zoriat. If an end source of magic also likely stems from Zoriat, I think his powers may have origins from Zoriat as well. Varys immediately looks wildly out of his depth. <laughs> as opposed to Willow looking completely in their elements. Um, okay. Curious if the Dakani thing I had would reveal anything about this, the book? Or is that not um, the right book to reach for? You can try. 
Might as well. Uh, to get information that I didn't have before. Yeah. While I'm dealing with the pile of books, I think, yeah, we'll, we'll automatically reach for another one. Yeah, can I might uh, keep talking while you do that? Yep. Yeah. Can I roll while you're doing that? Yep, yeah, go ahead. What do I roll, Z? Uh, roll me a history check. Oh, Lol. No. Okay, keep talking. <laughs> I got a nat one. Lolan was en route, trying to reach Willow during the heist. He noticed them and pulled them aside to have a conversation. He seemed to suggest something regarding En's magic being too much for them. However, he's not the trustworthy sort, so I'm sure he would say anything to get N aboard his ship and on his operation table. He let N walk at the time. But who's to say what he will do now that he has taken an interest? Hmm. Um, I have a... I have a feeling I know Willow probably opened the book. When was this book published, as an aside? We didn't write that down yet. Doesn't matter. But I do no. think like the history of the Dakani Empire doesn't necessarily only apply to N's history. I think Willow mm. might have thrown themselves off when they opened it and was like, oh, wait, hold up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Hold up. My history closes the book and then like sort of just tries to shake their head and listen back to Kai. It's like, the, oh, my history, my history that I learned from my grandmother, my grandma who, whose voice I heard yesterday during an augury. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going <laughs> to... None of us can read today! <laughs> Close up the book! Anyway, so yeah, Will is listening to you instead. Um, my, the other thing going through my mind is like Chaos Fleet. What is the immediate threat that mm. a Chaos Fleet ship might pose to us out here when we are clearly alone? Like, can it track us? They can pop up anywhere, can't they? They have like magic that lets them. Move they around. don't well, necessarily stick to yeah. the material plane. You, or like that's the rumor about them is that oh, like hmm. they just like their ships just suddenly appear. They're not. Their their port of call isn't on any island as you know it. Hmm. Well, I might ask. Do you give you a calling card or anything? Only his name. Can I roll an arcana to see if there's anything off the top of my head that I know what to do with that? Or, I don't know what to roll about that. Yeah, I wouldn't really know what to do with that either. Okay. It's just the... That's the name of the ship. That's the name of the guy aboard the ship that you wanted to talk to. So, like, how did Aggie? Br sorry, how did Aggie bring the ship to her? That was a conch shell that called ships specifically. Uh, you never found out what the conch shell did. Truly. <laughs> He claims that the Abyssal sails between Kubara and Zendrik. So perhaps he is not a threat at all. Or perhaps he will be. I certainly don't want to leave it up to chance or another surprise attack. And is curious <laughs> about what information he has. They've never met someone with similar ailments. And I, for one, am concerned about his words. Does N intend to seek him out, or if we happen upon him again, they may converse? N has no intention to seek him out, N deems it far too dangerous. Any information is not worth your lives. What is? When Kai said his words, had you already said those words? Uh, Kai is referring specifically to 
how he suggested that N's magic was becoming too much for them. I immediately like he, undercut that by saying he doesn't fully believe it, but he does seem but you concerned did by it. Tell us that. Yeah. N has considered the possibility that if we encounter him again, perhaps he could come aboard the Chaos instead of risking going aboard his ship. Assuming we have to make the choice. But N would not do that without the express permission of the rest of the crew. <laughs> Will is going to glance at Varys. How does he seem to be taking this on? Little, still a little out of his depth, but understands at least the concept of I don't want to bring a stranger aboard our ship without telling the rest of the crew. Yeah, don't want to endanger mm. the crew because I want information, mm. essentially. I think he gives a thoughtful pause and says, I suppose as long as we're prepared, a single lizard folk, if he is in possession of strange powers, shouldn't be out of our depth to handle. Well, we know what's not an option. Boarding the Abyssal. Indeed. Which makes this other possibility an option as well. There is also the additional option, which we've already entertained, which is neutral territory. But if they show up like a sea leech while traveling, then yes. Our ship is the better of both options. They were able to detect N's own magic in a crowd. I'm not sure how far that will extend to tracking us further. Or noticing, noticing us in a port. My intention is not to overstate the danger, simply to make you aware of it. No, no. Add another fleet to the list. <laughs> What list? Pirates that are a danger to us. Ah. People to look out for. Though this is, I will say, the first time with a Chaos Fleet opponent. That's new. In special. Perhaps, uh, he simply looks more threatening than he is. <laughs> I do, so... Not impossible. Judging by N, I'm going to go ahead and say it might be the other way around. But, Willow shrugs. Can't know till we face him. Maybe. Thanks for letting us know. It's important. I nods. Okay. Look at nods. Knight takes the book back and eases it closed. I will say, this is a blank spot in Willow's thoughts, too, because, like, they haven't really looked at the Chaos Fleet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They only have their own knowledge of extra planar stuff. Yeah, and the one Chaos Fleet ship we saw on the way here. Hmm. Do we remember what that ship was called? Uh, I don't think we ever got a name, did we? No, we no. just saw it from yeah. a distance. Yeah, but yeah. we saw some of the crew. We saw the... There was a Medusa and a Genie. And, um, yeah. Knowles, I believe. Yeah. Mm. And I rolled a nat twenty on that, yeah. And I had, I did have, yeah. I do have like information on them, but I don't know, like, for example, I couldn't tell you where they frequent. But you told us yeah. that the abyssal frequents the area between Kibara and Erinor, yeah. No, Zendikar. Uh, Zendikar. Zendikar. Yeah. So it passes by Sharn in a way. Yeah, which is bad. <laughs> That's what Zen Angel Eye said, right? Yes. yes. We're all yeah. going yeah. off what so, Angel Eye said when Kai is giving off yeah. a, a big energy of I don't trust what that fucker says, but I will yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will let you know what he said and my concerns about I think it. Willow You hear was <laughs> I just realized Willow locks their captain's log with a, a spoken password. Mm -hmm. So every time they open their captain's log they whisper something to it. Mm -hmm. Um 
Anyway, they're going to start writing things down and they'll say, well, he seems to want to be your friend. So I think when he gives you places to look at, we'll keep an ear out for. They're probably accurate. Friend is a strong word. <laughs> I mean, I don't trust it, obviously. But His immediate <laughs> intention did not seem to be violence. However, that may simply be waiting for the moment he puts an under. Oh, of course. Obviously. But mm. who knows? There's a certain darkness that falls over Kai as he says that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wait, do I know that N was in a surgical scenario? We do not, I don't believe. N hasn't detailed it specifically, just, you know, that you know their eye was taken out and replaced. Mm. Yeah. Actually, Willem might ask, his eyes were normal? Let's take it down notes. He had heterochromia, right, Zeke? But not, yes. like... Yeah. But not magical heterochromia, just natural. No. I didn't sense anything from that. No. If whatever magical effect there was, it didn't affect his eyes. Yeah, it think. wasn't emanating from the eyeball like maybe mine was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I will relay that. Heterochromia, but not magical. Seemed natural. Okay. Lucas squints and doesn't know what that word means. Sounds like heterosexual, but I don't think that's impl- I'm sorry, Kai's not going to explain it for you. <laughs> Willow will say two different colored eyes. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I'm uncertain of the source of his powers. If they're drawn from the other plane in some other way, we, and Kai gestures to his eye patch, do not believe it was caused by a symbiont. I don't think Varys knows and talks to the rival. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, Varys. I just saying shit for you. Sorry, Ad. We like another persona. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, they just asked about how was its eyeball. <laughs> Varys like, huh? Well, I know oh, something weird about, about its eyeball, but like, what? what? <laughs> Symbionts. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, I forgot they were main characters. No, Luca, Hedochromia? Yeah. The confused energy emanating off you both is so potent. Oh. Um, yeah. Okay, I think we'll just take down notes. Clearly they're listening to whatever notes you have. Mm. Yeah, Kai will reiterate physical description. Hmm. Will it tilts their head. My drawing is not as good as yours, but <laughs> then continues writing. You could trace it. No. Not important details. Other than the cowboy hat, that's interesting. Aha. Uh -huh. But yeah, we'll just take those down and we'll like, kind of punctuate it on another peril of the sea with a full stop. Mm -hmm. Anything else? I believe that's everything. Good to know. I nod. <laughs> knowing nothing. <laughs> ah, it's like that. <laughs> Understands nothing. <laughs> <laughs> She's on the other foot now. Kai is no longer that meme. <laughs> oh. Okay. Shall I don't know what to do about Kai being here and N not being here other than let it ride itself out. Right. Yeah. Let it run its course. Mm -hmm. And then like maybe try and get to the next day or something. I don't know. Talk to yeah. you guys. Yeah. I think that I might be smart. Yep. Yeah. N's gonna take Kai to dream time. <laughs> Luca <laughs> might pull them aside to just quietly like mention, you know. I was the one who suggested we race. So really, if you want to play that game, more my fault than anything. Shrugs. Kai size. Where did you say this? Never mind. Go on. It was unlucky. For both of us. No one is to blame and is aware. 
Good to have a reminder. Pats Kai's shoulder, shakes him, probably a bit more than should be. <laughs> Kai is rattled. <laughs> <laughs> the lone. Just loosely, <laughs> like a ragdoll kitten. <laughs> yeah, my baby. Has no emotion about it, just it's like, what else am I going to do? Is shaked. <laughs> <laughs> Get shook a idiot. Shake the knowledge into your brain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. I think let's have a long rest. Yay! Yay! I'll take the first watch of the night so you guys can get. I, I don't even mind doing a double shift kind of thing tonight because you guys need sleep. Okay, make a perception check then, Willow. I need to fix fish dog too. Mm. How long does that take? You can do it over a long rest. Yeah. Roll a 13. Mm-hmm. Make a... Are you pulling a double shift or... Yeah, if I can. Make a constitution save then, or constitution check rather. Ten. Just enough. No. And you do not suffer a point of exhaustion for staying up too late. Not great for Willow to keep doing that. Ooh, wow. Oh, damn. <laughs> Natural. Twenty for my second shift of Natwatch. I've rolled like four of those this session. Yeah, better than yeah. us rolling ones all over the place. Mm. Cool. I think in that case, like, yeah. Uh, you observe clouds overhead. Get a chance to do some star charting if you like. Uh, I kind of don't feel like looking at the sky. Mm. Just as long as I see it's empty. Well, other than the stars. The stars are nice. I'm just not really in the mood. Stars are good. They mean there's nothing in front of them blocking them. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, I think. Sleep. <laughs> yeah, no, I do think there's part of Willow that's looking. Part of the reason why seeing a clear sky is good news. Seeing mm-hmm. nothing rolling, seeing no unnatural clouds is good news. I do think that part of tonight too, like looking at the stars, mm-hmm. reminds Willow a bit of. They heard their grandmother's voice the other night. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'll say like as Willow, I, I kind of imagine that they're sitting on the roof again as they like doing. Mm-hmm. Um. Can I be fixing fish dog? Sure. Just slowly over my double shift between mm-hmm. glances. I do think though that like Willow's Nat 20 is like a dare I say a look into the past a little bit. I feel like Willow's remembering vaguely like an experience with their grandmother when they were very young. Mm-hmm. And sort of like this, like just sort of wandering over to her while she's outside. And she sort of has similar features to Willow that you would see, like Cedar distinctly looks like a bear, but Willow's grandma kind of looks, has their same ears. Mm-hmm. And just like the vague memory of like plopping down next to her and following her gaze up to the sky. Just sort of that quiet conversation of the stars, mm-hmm. where they connect, what they mean. Just sort of a flash of that memory as Willow sits there. Honestly, a difficult memory to go back to, but it's nice to remember nevertheless. Yeah. Haven't thought of her for ages. Yep. Yeah. You did take after your grandmother quite a bit. Hmm. Your family always said that about you. 
I think this is the first time in a while Will has had a memory about their grandmother that isn't related to her funeral mm. and Cedar being angry at them. <laughs> so it's um, it's nice to recall a softer one. Yeah. You just sort of soak in that, sit on that. <sighs> Who's next on the watch? <laughs> No choice. Who do we wake up? Um, I think Luca looked mm. the most healed at the end of the day. They yeah, had, yeah. He had almost full HP by the end of the day. Yeah, I think Willow will wake Luca. Fishdog should be... Is Fishdog ready? Uh, Not yet. It, Fishdog will be ready by morning. It's just okay. like recharging, I imagine. Cool. <laughs> Cute. Uh, poor thing. Had to undent its metal. Yeah. It's been through the ringer. Mm. But it's okay. Willow will place it on the uh, like the dining room table <laughs> so that yeah. when it wakes up it's ready to be sentry. Yeah. Just like pulsing or glow, like beginning to I imagine like a little glow in its middle that's sort of gently spreading out. Mm-hmm. So it's like a nightlight. And then yeah, Willow will go shake Luca awake. Luca's up and at him. Don't fall overboard this time, Willow says as they climb into the hammock. <laughs> I'll tie myself down if I need to. Good idea. Do they seem okay or just tired? Tired. Okay. Okay. Make a perception check with disadvantage. Yeah. Could I use Willow's spyglass to even it out? Um, or not, because it's dark. It's dark, is why. Yeah. So, 13. I see <laughs> into the darkness. Still see nothing. Yeah. I mean, you've got a lantern. But at least you know if anything's, like, boarding the boat. Yeah, yeah. that's the main thing. I think yeah, Luca might turn a light on, on, like, the other side, so that both mm-hmm. sides are lit quite well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean... You also don't want to illuminate the boat at nighttime too much. No, 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 just a little, a little one. Okay. Yeah. Just enough that he can see, basically. Yeah. On that note, Luca mm-hmm. probably brought out the little crow skull with him. Mm-hmm. Kind of tossing it around in his hands. He asks it a mundane question three times just to hear the person speak again see if it's the same one hmm. um what questions do you ask um something silly like just small things like if i walk on the deck will i trip uh will i see anything in the next 30 minutes oh that's will i see will uh, Will I have a successful 30 minutes of watch? And... Um, like, if we stay here, will something attack us? Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Um, you ask those in that order? Yeah, probably. Start with the okay. least okay. serious, go to most serious. Okay. Ill-advised, considering that, like, the more you cost it, the more likely you are going to get, like, a oh, random okay. reading. Do I know that? Yes. Okay, then I'd re- reverse the order. Okay. Um, cool. Uh, if you stay here, is anything going to... Attack uh, Like, is it good to stay here? Wheel. Yes. Yes. And then... I also did this outside, yeah. away from everyone. Yeah. Cheers. Okay. Um, what was the second question? Yeah, the first question is answered by that same sort of feminine voice. Mm-hmm. Second question was... Uh, Will I have a successful watch in the next 30 minutes? 
that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, you get another response. Well, this time it sounds like an elderly man's voice. Make oh. a wisdom check. Check? Yes. And it sounds almost grandfatherly. Oh. Or like that's what if you had to describe it, grandfatherly is the word that would pop into your mind, but you're not sure if it's your grandfather or just someone that you once knew who had a grandfatherly attitude mm. towards you. But you don't really recognize it either. Okay. You think Luca put it together with that one little memory he has? Which memory? Someone mentioning their grandfather? Maybe, but... Maybe. That's the only thing he could think of. If he thought of it. I mean, also you know that you must have had parents, which means you must have had grandparents. Yeah. Maybe. I knew him. Enough for him to love me. To come and talk to me. Maybe. That's possible. Did he sacrifice much in the name of Karnath? As did his father before him? Maybe. I mean, who didn't? Maybe. In Karnath, honestly. <laughs> and, yeah, it's... You were at war for a long time. Yeah. And the last one was, will he trip if he goes on deck? Okay. Um... I think you get, uh... Neither as an answer yeah. this time in that same feminine voice again okay he makes a note of that we'll honestly probably end up doing this every night just to see if anything jostles loose mm-hmm. but only after they've been through the day because maybe someone mm-hmm. wants to use it yeah mm-hmm Oh. Your watch passes uneventfully. Yay. If I choose who to wake, I will wake Varys, because okay. Anne needs emotional rest. Mm hmm. All right. Varys' turn at watch. Roll a perception yeah. check. Not bad. Okay. Can Varys see in the dark? Is that a thing for yeah, yep. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's just me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Again. Just you. Sorry, buddy. Which really means yeah. I should be taking first watch every night. Yeah. The only reason you didn't was because I was completely on. Un- you needed rest sooner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, this is the last watch of the night, yeah? Because I took two. Yes. Yeah. Um. And on that subject, I would like N to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. We shouldn't have let N sleep, actually. I just remembered that's where your evil lives. Smack them in the face. (laughs) Wake up. (laughs) Wake the fuck up. A? 16. Okay. Uh, Kai protects you from the struggles. Yeah, I think... The dreams are uneasy, but also not very tangible, you know. Yeah. It's not a peaceful sleep, but Kai kind of lessens it into yeah. abstract emotions and shapes that N won't really remember as they wake up, nor will they jolt awake from them. Yeah. You're just kind of a general, like, Ugh. Yeah. But otherwise, you are... You do not dream vividly. Yeah, and on that wisdom save, it will also be end when they wake up. So there's that. Yep. Alright. 
In which case, we are on to our next day. Yahoo! Yay! Let's roll for weather. I don't want to, to, roll. to roll anymore, because he rolled all 100s <laughs> against us and killed us. <laughs> uh, should I roll again? Yeah. Roll. All right, so d20? Yes, please. Okie dokie. 19. Hmm. Okay. Uh, as the day progresses, you uh, sail into rain and strong wind. Ooh. It is not quite stormy yet, but it looks like it might end up storming later on. Um, let's roll, uh, can one of you roll me a d6? Ma'am? I will. I wrote strong wings. <laughs> Four. Four? Okay, so it's a strong wind coming from the south. So it might push us that way? Yes, uh... Just like, uh, so it's not, you're not sailing into the wind, which is good. Okay. So you can compensate for it. It's just like, if it was coming from north or, um, northwest, it might be more difficult to sail against. Okay. I think upon seeing the rain, Luca will point to the deck at Willow and be like, ah, oh, we didn't need to bother washing it. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> I will say today as we go about our work, Willow, like mm -hmm. there is distinctly little montage shot of Willow showing you how mm -hmm. to tie your lifelines. Yep. I feel like Willow, like due diligence, they would have done this a while ago, but we just kind of got lax with it. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So like once again, going around and like, Luca, this is your responsibility now kind of thing. If you want to call yourself quartermaster too, like double mm -hmm. check these things. Yeah. We all, we were all responsible for every part of the boat though, especially me. Yes. So Willow's double, triple checking all of the fixtures and everything. Mm-hmm. You guys sort of tripping over, like, because you're walking with the rope around your waist. Like, yeah, you do have I to, like, that, learn like, how to do it, especially now, like, the wind is quite strong, so there's, like, quite a yeah. bit of, like, sway. Yeah. Probably it good is. weather for learning, I guess. No, it is. <laughs> I think the, how slippery it is on deck, too. And yeah. definitely falls over at least once. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hey, Luca bumps into the railing. Please don't. Yeah, actually, uh, don't. everybody make an acrobatics check. <laughs> <laughs> no, again. Watch me. Okay, 18. Oh, good job. 11. Hey. Oh, 18. Sorry, that oh, one wow. should be there. You know what's so, so funny? 18. Yeah. Imagine, oh, can Varys roll one too? Yes, he will. Um, does he have mark of the storm advantage? The storm does not bother him. Sea legs. Yeah. Cold never oh yeah, he does anyway. actually have advantage because he does have sea legs. I remember yeah. that oh. from his sheet. <laughs> yes. So Luke is never gonna get sea legs. These legs are made like tree trunks. <laughs> they are for the land. These are land legs. <laughs> uh, which is good that he gets advantage because that was yeah. a shit roll. Oh. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> my twenty. No. I imagine yeah. Willow's doing that thing where they've tied the lifeline and they're demonstrating and they're like, you want to make sure to keep the rope so you don't trip? And then they're like, kind of trip. <laughs> they stumble, but they don't fall over completely. Yeah, it's but just, just like enough a, to like, interrupt them while they're talking. Yeah. Like so. <laughs> Good thing All right. Willow told us how to tie lifelines. Yeah. yeah, something really bad could happen if we didn't, right? <laughs> That'd be awful. Too soon, Willow before. said. <laughs> <laughs> What's that for? Navigation point? check. That's uh, Varus's navigation check for the day. Oh, you're doing fantastic! Oh, damn, should twenty-one. I, did I talk to the elemental today, or we want to keep it off? Yeah. Your choice. Well, going would help us like combat the the wind, yeah. even though it's not like completely the wrong direction. You know what I mean? You know, I'll give it a yeah. shot. Yeah, no. If there's no like no, no reason not to. Yeah. 18. Damn. You're always so good at this. And can I just say, the only reason it wouldn't be to use it is if 
we have anyone to watch out for. So I'm going to do a quick perception check with my spyglass to check if there's anyone we should be like not speeding around. I got an 18 too. Morning of 18s, apparently. Mm -hmm. uh, in the early morning, um, actually, uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to say like, as you start sailing, there is a, you sort of see in the distance a uh, small fishing vessel. <laughs> Not getting attacked by a sea leech, I hope. No. Good. Like honestly, better us than them. <sighs> we can handle it. Yeah. They are a humble fishing vessel. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, what can I see about that? <laughs> are they a humble fishing vessel? Yeah. It or, literally. Or it's, a... it, it's literally just like some some fishers that are probably from Farwatch who were like heading out for the morning's catch of, of deep sea fish. Okay, well, they won't catch a sea leech, so that's nice. And I was mm -hmm. just like, is it is it a fishing vessel or is it Gardenia and Emma in disguise? <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's um, a fishing vessel. They're like cool. Well quite a distance away, I would say like they're sort of uh let's say um more than three hundred feet away. Cool. So. Well, okay, that's a decent. We are also perpendicular to Port Verge, so I don't think perpendicular is the word I was looking. Uh, but anyway, I think as soon as the fishing boat is out of sight, Will is going to call to Varys to call to end. Okay. Full speed cool. ahead. All right. Cool. Um. I would like each of you to pick a number one through four. Pick or roll? Pick. pick. Oh, two. Three. Three. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Can we double up pick, or? You need to I pick, pick a different four. number. four. Okay. In which case, Varys will be one. This is a handsome contest. Oh, no. As you are uh sailing through rainy strong winds uh there comes a moment where uh there are like some seabirds like coasting up above let's do oh okay uh and uh, you see varus suddenly like jerk out of the way oh, no. as uh, a bit of bird dropping like splashing oh, right no. next to where he was just standing. Yeah. <laughs> Perils of That's the sea. <laughs> Luca looks offended that this is even a possibility of things that could happen. <laughs> yep. That's why you gotta swab the deck. For regular reasons and not sea beast uh, blood related reasons. Yep. Ugh. I will say as uh, evening uh, sort of starts rolling in, the, the clouds grow heavier and the wind stronger. It is a storm now. So. Pack it in. Mm. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, let me really quickly check the uh, DC. So, I think I would like everybody to, like, uh, do various checks around the ship to, like, prepare yourself for the storm. So, like, tying things down, navigational checks, um, so on. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Uh n will be the what, oh, tying i guess sleight of hand would that be yes. yeah that's what sleight of hand okay yeah i'll i'll do the knots then oh well, shit okay. that's an eight <laughs> yeah. it's real hard it's raining it's slippery it's windy yeah. uh well can fish dog help in 
if you've assigned fish dog to N. Than shining a light. Yeah. Yeah, I can assign fish dog to N. Okay, then fish dog can't help with anything else. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay, I'll roll again then. Yep. That's better. Yeah. Nice. 24. That's much better. Yeah, okay. Everything is tightly secured, uh, and you are able to sort of make sure that nothing will roll around like you've trimmed the sails. You are unlikely to uh, do any be sort of like have any loose ropes or or um, oh gosh, what are they called? The like hinges pulleys, you know, those things, yeah. the wheels that the rope goes around. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nothing's gonna fly away. Like a spool. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. smack people in the face and concuss them. Not yeah. again. Yeah. The rigging is secured. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Willow and Luca, what do you want to do? Um, is Varus going to do, like, navigation? Most likely. I think Luca would probably tie down everything inside in the quarters, since that's his okay. job. Okay. Um... Make sure the hammocks are tied tightly, things yeah. like that. The storage bay area, all the bits and pieces are secure. Yeah. Good question. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what that would be. What do you think that would be? Like, what ability check would you like to use for that? <laughs> no idea. Um, I'm leaning towards a dex as well, just for like okay. a, you know, working while the ship's kind of flailing about kind of thing. Okay. We um with enough foresight as well, you guys mm -hmm. could have done this basically when it was wet but not fully storming. Like any yeah. kind of Actually, stuff like that. Uh I would let you do for the the I would let you do this as athletics as well of like physically like tying down boxes and moving things uh, just like moving okay. heavy objects. Yep. Oh, 12. That's good enough. Okay. Willow, what are you doing? Okay, so... Checking everything we do. <laughs> no, no, no. According to... Okay. We have to slow down. And I don't think we're meant to anchor. I think that we're sort of meant to drag the ship, like, break. But still mm -hmm. try and keep moving with the sort of pulse of the ocean. Like, the, uh, mm -hmm. the movements of the ocean. So doesn't snap us in half yeah i would also let yeah. i would also let uh willow do the navigation check if you would prefer varus try and use his mark of the storm for something yeah i think gladly willow will take the helm um to basically do all the things i imagine them chucking like a sea anchor off the back which is like mm -hmm. something just to slow us down yeah. and keep us stable uh as opposed to the anchor anchor which is going to be like you know rough mm -hmm. to be trying to drag along the seabed as we are sort of trying to get somewhere out of the storm mm -hmm. we are getting out <laughs> storm racing as it were um mm. yeah so we was happy to take the helm and do that check keep our boat on the straight and narrow okay in which case um make a survival check i'll say Thirteen. Okay. Okay. Good to know. All right. Uh, and then Varus will make a, a spell casting check to use his mark of the storm to like try and use uh, the gust of wind spell to like sort of blow you off uh, to the edges of the storm rather than like straight in the middle of it. Mm. So cool. Twelve. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. I'm going to roll a check for the storm itself. 
Okay. Uh, on top of, like, just all of this, I would like each of you to roll a constitution check, including Varys, for the rough seas. Yeah, who's gonna puke? Oh, no. no. 16. This is embarrassing. Yep. <laughs> yeah. 21. Willow, what'd you get? <sighs> Oh, this is embarrassing for. <laughs> yeah. I think part of it is like because you are checking against like your navigational tools and like tending to the wheel and also mm. just like the seas are quite rough. Um and you have sensitive ears. What a, what am I hearing? Storm? No, sensitive ears as in your sense of balance. Right, yeah. I mean, but like, I've okay. I've been in like, worse it's storms. Just embarrassing. You've been in, you you have been in worse storms. It's just like you're not necessarily throwing up. This is you like suffering from nausea and tiredness uh, by yeah. trying to like stay awake and uh, stay the course, basically. Yeah. No, Correct it's me fair. If I'm don't, wrong, I'm, but it's been a really long time since you've been on the sea like this, right? No, not that long. Oh yes, I guess a few years, but like, yeah, I've, um, I think mainly too when I'm out at sea, I'm not navigating. Like so, what Zeke said. Yeah. Okay. Looking at the Zorn eyeball, looking at the wheel, keeping my eye on the road, basically, and like this is yeah. Mm -hmm. You were up a long, like you <laughs> succeeded at your Constitution save for the night, but you were up like a long late a last long night. Watch. This is this is just like this is just like you're not necessarily like sick sick, but you are. Mm really feeling the wear of it. You do not get necessarily any restful sleep uh, as, like, you guys keep active watch while the storm is raging. Mm. Look, I will say, too, there's a difference between an air storm and a yeah, sea storm. Yeah, I was also thinking yeah. that. An air yeah, storm whole... controlled by the captain versus a sea storm. <laughs> <laughs> this is, like, like plane turbulence versus, right? Yeah, the, the, the whole boat is, like, m pitching on the yeah. waves. It's rough. I did use, yeah. I did use deep sea fishing, but still I wasn't driving. Oh. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to sleep. Um, do I have anything that can help them? <laughs> yeah, just, just focus on the ship. <laughs> I'll just put you to sleep. Oh, you, uh, <laughs> no, it's okay. Well, it will just soak. In their bed. Freaking useless storm chaser this is. <laughs> kidding. Yeah. When it's your it basically Willow has a bad night and will end up with a point of exhaustion. Oh Aww. damn it. If the, the storm ends tomorrow. Um yeah, that's that night. Uh I would like you each to make a perception check in turn. Actually, I won't give Willow a, a, a point of exhaustion. Instead, I'll just say that, that similar to the poison effect is nausea. So you just have disadvantage on ability checks. Okay. Could we split, instead of doing four watches, do three? To have us uh, do slightly longer? Or no? You all have to do watches because you have to mind the ship, basically. Sweet. Oh, right, 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 right. right. It's right. A perilous okay. Union. Perception, yeah. you say? Yes, please. Okay. 17. Nice. 17! Hey! Wow. Come on, Varys. Say it. Oh. <laughs> 22. <Never mind. laughs> and I got disadvantage on this? Yes, please. Will is so bloody stubborn. On this, do I get spyglass uh, flat? No, because it's nausea. Yeah. Mm. 14. Not bad. Okay. Bye. So, you managed to safely keep the ship afloat during the night. Uh, let's roll for weather again. Who wants to roll? Me. This will be. <laughs> yeah, you do. Uh, <laughs> this will be the uh, 19th of Larvion. 
with the cranky glare at the sky. What am I rolling for this? D20, please. I'm looking at the sky like, you're done? <laughs> <laughs> Are you through? You have more to say? Uh, you're slick. Cool. Because you go over the whole planet, you think you're important? I like storms. They are cool. an old friend of mine. Yes. Okay. Uh, the storm abates, but it continues to have, uh, it continues to be overcast and rainy. As long as the seas are smoother. Slightly. The seas have calmed significantly. It's just wet out for most of today. So, uh, make sure to uh, use up rations for the 17th, which was the day yeah. you lost the 12 total. The 18th, which was yesterday, only four. Um, and today is the 19th of Larvion. Yeah. In which case, I'll take nice. up another four for today. Yeah. Uh, I'll do another navigation check for Varus. Willow, do you want to try talking to the elemental today? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll, I'll do it then. Varus rolled a 22. So mm -hmm, we, for we go in the right direction. Yeah. Oh. Now 20 on the elemental. Oh my gosh. You guys are besties. <laughs> yeah, we've really been creating a bond over these past few days. I show up every morning, we have a little chat, and we get the show on the road. Yeah. God, I just imagined, like, Willow, here's you go. How does N go and do these checks, by the way? Are you doing it through the voice thing, or are you going downstairs? Uh, N has to use their, like, mental stuff. So I do imagine they go into the room and, like, look at it directly and use their awakened mind, because that's how they communicate with mm. it. I, I just got an image of, like, Willow's sitting at the table, head in their hand, kind of, like, just trying to keep their... They just still feel nauseous, and when they feel the boat lurch with the elemental again, they're like, oh good, it's working. But then also, Varys, eventually you're going to have to do that. Mm -hmm. That is the whole point of you being here. <laughs> mm -hmm. I imagine he's driving at the time. Yep. Uh, sorry, could you repeat the question? I was updating the elemental's uh, friendliness towards you all. Yeah, I got oh. the little plus, plus <laughs> sim friendship points coming off this thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you've been consistently like rolling well and treating it well, so it is friendly towards you. So you have an easier time convincing it to do stuff. <laughs> I am its friend. <laughs> um, Willow said to Varys something. What did I say? Do you guys remember? Uh, Someday you'll you have, have to do start that. doing it soon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That is why you got sent to sent here, basically. Yeah. With a well, kind of shitted off voice. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah. Go on. Well, if you'd prefer to take over the navigational aspect of it. Somehow through their glasses and their hand over their forehead, you can feel Willow glaring at you. <laughs> Varus keeps himself yeah. neutral. <laughs> Alright. I think Willow's uh, tapping their little dog figurine on the chessboard. Mm hmm. All the other pieces have been packed away for now because, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so there's just that little, like, the background aggravated tapping of, like, <laughs> how dare mm -hmm. I, former wind whisperer, former storm chaser, sit here being made nauseous by one little storm. <laughs> oh, Willow. Had to the best of us. Oh, well, aside from the rain, it is smooth sailing. Oh. Uh, and because of that nat 20 persuasion, I'm going to say that, uh, it. Um, how fast are you? Uh, 
I'm gonna say that you arrive uh, within uh, sight of Scarn's harbor uh, by sort of late afternoon, early evening, around like 5, 6 p.m. So. Made good time. Yeah. Job yeah, team. Her. We made it. Does Luca want to ask his question at all before we? Um, what do you think? Up to you guys. Yeah, I was planning to, but we got distracted by murder. <laughs> you almost died, and that kind of throws off the groove a little bit. Yeah. Well, it's, I mean, it's fair if you bring it up. Like, if Luca would, that's the main thing. Mm-hmm. He, I think he would if they had. Yeah, we've had time. like a sizable free time. Yeah. So I feel like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. By all means. Um, in which yeah. case, I think early on the nineteenth, since it's smooth for the day, Luca mm-hmm. might pull Varys aside to have a little conversation. Oh, Varys. Yeah, oh, Varys. Varys. Yeah. Quinn. <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. I sh- I'm taking a nap. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't want to burden him with day. No, actually, I'm not taking a nap. I'm I'm reading contracts. No, <laughs> we're putting those aside. Other books. <laughs> Last yep. time I looked at those contracts, one a, a ship eel leech thing <laughs> it almost killed Luca. The second time Kai came out, we're just gonna put that aside. Have a couple normal days. Can I ask what? Do you reckon you're reading one of Colbicon's books? Yeah, probably. But if so, which one? Yeah, what's the, where's the list? I need to because and does want to look at the the Kani one, but I don't think I think they're in the distraction mood, so they're like not that one, not today. Read one of the heritages. Uh, let's let's have a look. Alcohol. They want to think about what they're gonna get to drink in Kani. <laughs> Honestly, that is where my eyes landed. <laughs> so a, a bartender's impressions of Karnath. Probably. Okay. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Cool. Amazing. Watching the Food Channel when you're hungry, energy. Yeah. Come in. Mm-hmm. I need a drink. Oh, I will eat you soon. <laughs> <laughs> Just you wait. I'm gonna need even more drinks in Carnaf. I think so. <laughs> Let's say that depending on where you guys are, Willow will not be there. So, like, if Varys is driving, Willow has gone back downstairs to just lie down with their nausea. <laughs> yeah, Anne's probably down there on the sofa, too, just reading. Yeah. Then Luca can stay upstairs and talk to helmsman Varys. Yay! <laughs> and the storm can make it so no one can hear us. Yay! Um... When you're steering the ship, are you able to do other things? I, provided there's so, no great troubles. Uh, no juggling, I assume. What's on your mind, Luca? Well, uh, as you know, Willow and I are not in the best of terms. So, um, Willow kind of explained their thought process to me and left me with something to consider after we Mm. had a talk. And I have been considering it, but I thought I might get some other considerations since I'm probably not the best at the considerations because the issue is my considerations, I think. What, uh, what's on your mind? Uh, is it, there's like a little day bed next to the... Yeah, there's a, there's a coat sofa type thing. Yeah, so Luke will probably sit there and have his journal out and be talking to Mm -hmm. Varys. And Mm -hmm. he will relay the little, little problem that Willow gave him in as much detail as he can. Mm Mm-hmm. And I won't relay it for brevity's sake. All right. Since you did so at the beginning of the episode. Iris takes a moment to consider. Well, the obvious answer seems like it would be the second soldier. Can you explain why? 
If the first soldier is imposing on the craftsman, then surely my merit of undoing the harm, the second soldier is the kind one. But he could have stopped the harm in the first place, couldn't he? Presuming he only found out about the harm in the aftermath. Oh, I don't... I don't know. Did Willow specify when they visited? <laughs> I thought they came in together. Willow. They, they did come in together. But yeah. Varys could also mean, like, you know, you didn't know your friend was going to be a dick when he walked into the room. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I don't know. Uh, it's just... That's probably the problem I'm facing. I don't see either of them as kind. Uh, shrugs. Well, if that's the answer, then what does that imply? I have no idea. That's the other problem. <laughs> I'm sure it means something important, but I don't really understand Willow at the best of times. So... I thought maybe that they were implying that I was both soldiers, in which case, if I'm saying that both are bad, that means that I am both bad. But that... I don't know if Willow know thinks if like that. Luca pauses, mm. looks up, continue. <clears throat> Varys takes a moment. Um... Varys is going to roll an insight check on Willow's attitude. <laughs> oh. Oh. Nice. Willow, nice. I am. <laughs> That's <laughs> why I went to Varys, baby! <laughs> I mean, he's seen me. Exactly. Oh, Lord. Yeah. The thing I've found with Willow is that they rarely settle for simple dichotomies. Okay, and what's that? A dichotomy is when there are two opposing things, you know, black, white, ah. hot, cold. Mm. Willow tends to see that there's either a middle ground or that there are things exiled outside of it all together so lukewarm or instead of grey there being blue purple green so if neither soldier is kind as you've said what is Luca how do you become a kind soldier perplexed. I don't know if you can. In which case, what would the solution be? Not want to be one of the two things? Neither kind nor a soldier? Or a soldier, sorry. Since they don't work together? Well, if there's no kind soldier, then... Maybe the problem isn't the kindness, but the soldier. Me? <laughs> Luca, you weren't always a soldier. You're not a soldier now, even if you seem to think of yourself as one. Well, mm -mm. Is it possible I could make some sort of check to see if it clicks in Voluka? Yeah, sure. What would this be? Uh, I think inside. Okay. I bet you I'll roll low for myself. Uh, 17, not that bad. 17 is good. 17 is yeah, good. Magic number. Yeah, it's lucky number 17. Day. That's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> What is, what is Varys putting down in layman's 
Stop thinking like a soldier. Ah. Uh. Just stop being a soldier. Full stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. So. Is it safe to say that's possibly what Miller might think? The reason Luca chose Varys to have this conversation with is because they seem he seems to have a very uh, piracy-based understanding of Willow's attitude. Mm-hmm. I'd say he has the most, quote-unquote, in common with Willow. Mm-hmm. So it seems like he might have the most close to Willow understanding of it. Mm-hmm. So I should... So, s- stop thinking like a soldier. So, if a soldier would think, think a certain way, perhaps choose the opposite. Uh-huh. But does... Does that mean both are unkind? Or just one? Well, you've decided that they're neither of them are kind. You've said nothing about them being unkind, but simply that their behavior isn't kind because they have, you know, the authority of soldiers. So if this relates to you, then your problem is that you've been approaching Willow like you're thinking you're a soldier and they're not. Uh, hmm. I'm going to say on a, a 17 insight, part of the problem you know is that when you went against Willow's wishes, you acted like a soldier in terms of you disobeyed an order. Mm -hmm. So you expected punishment for disobedience. Right. Rather than friendship betrayal that it actually Mm -hmm. was. Mm -hmm. In Luca's mind, it was more of an act of defiance from a superior. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right, right. I do think it clicks a little bit for him. Yes, yeah. ma'am? Oh, I was going to say, should I add to this? But no, it's okay. I think it's going well. <laughs> well, you can add so, if, you, if you think. Let yeah. Varys do it. Yeah, let him cook. Yeah. Varys is baking Luca at the moment. So, um, do, you, do you externalize this thought? That the problem was like you trying, you acting like you were disobeying a superior? Like, speak it aloud. Yeah. I think after a moment of, like, tapping his pen on his lip, Luca says that even when I'm trying to approach them in a friendly way, I'm doing so consciously or not as a soldier... And a captain? So... Hmm. I shouldn't be doing that because even if they are captain in a... uh, What's the word? Technical sense, they're a friend? Hi, and... uh... If you don't agree with a superior, then that's... You go about it in a different way than you might when you don't agree with a friend. Hmm. Bones and such. That was a jerk. (laughs) Is that how you are with... Raiko? Sorry, High Prince Raiko? Our relationship is somewhat different for a multitude of reasons. Mm -hmm. But I'd say that Willow considers you an equal. 
Luca pulls like a there's no way face about that. Is it that's hard to believe? Maybe I'm uh I think the word is projecting because they have traits that I would consider admirable where I lack. Oh. Even if you admire them, you can still be an equal to them. Lucas seems a little uncertain about that because he very much does not know whether that's something Willow would agree with. No, if you doubt me, ask them. They don't really give me straight answers when I ask them things. <laughs> hey, you, what did you say when I said does the elemental take treats? That's different. There's no stakes <laughs> in that, you asshole. We'll go straight <laughs> up with you when it matters. Okay, no. Will, Luca okay. doesn't understand, even if okay. Lu- Willow is straightforward. Luca doesn't understand. That's the problem. It's fine. I was very patient with you. <laughs> you can unclench your fists. I can hear them. <laughs> well. Fire shrugs. You could always ask them to check your answers. I get. I think that's going to be a common thing for us. (laughs) Well, the worst thing that can happen is they tell you that you're off the mark and you try again. Will they be okay with that? I think Willow's pretty (laughs) forgiven in that manner. Look at nods, like. Yeah, probably. So, So. my issue is approach. Kind of. And all the other stuff that comes with what makes my approach the way it is. Lucas squints at his paper, and then at Varys. Let's simplify that down a little more. I think your problem is that you're not treating Willow like an equal when they see you as one. Hmm. Luca draws a tiny little diagram. <laughs> see. There we go. Let's do this. Elsa. <laughs> yep, I can spell. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm cooking. Let me cook. Okay. Looks at Varus and then crosses out his own name. And then <laughs> does a little arrow like this. And a question mark? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, uh, he wrote Elsa and Varys on a little co- top row, and then Willow and N next to each other, and Luca slightly under N, but like close to <laughs> N, almost on top of N, but lower than N. <laughs> 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 and then crossed out his own name and kind of moved it up with a directional arrow to be on the same level as Willow and Anne. <laughs> oh my god. Varys looks at that and s- <laughs> sort of stifles a smirk. Go check your work then. Oh my god, now? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready. I haven't finished cooking. <laughs> it's so funny imagining you approaching Willow and they are downstairs, arm over their head, nauseous in their hammock. 
<laughs> Maybe the, that's like where we sort of uh, move forward in time of Luca like mm, thinking more on it over the course of the day uh, yeah. until uh, the announcement comes. Opportune moment. <laughs> Land ho. <laughs> What'd you call I me? do actually think. <laughs> I, I, I can, like, um, I kind of imagine now rather than Willa just sort of looking out at the spyglass, it's that kind of like aggravated, I can't sleep, rolls out of the hammock, storms upstairs, and like looks out the window, like, are we there yet? And then it just happens to be like, yes. <laughs> I see scan Lucas, on like, the horizon. I'm oh, okay. My so homework nice. check to gay. Today. <laughs> to gay? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you gay? <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, Lula drops the elephant or something. Like yeah. looks. <sighs> I think Lula, with a big turn of thank God, is gonna say, "Oh, scans in view." <laughs> oh, thanks. You can stretch those sea legs for a bit on something more stable. Oh, how embarrassing. I feel like Bruno freaking sold me it. <laughs> Is Luca's book still out? No. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't think you know about that. Willow won't elaborate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, as you uh, steer the ephemeral chaos towards the docks of Scarn. We will end today's session.